Hey y'all, welcome back. So, uh, all you can eat playthroughs this week, you know? So, uh, Edward from Heavy Cardboard, obviously, uh, down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see Sweater Mike, Banker Dave, and over here you'll be able to see a hand that is Matt. So, yeah, so Lahav, we figure we weren't really feeling the colonists right now, so we thought we would live stream this. Now, uh, I'm sitting with a couple of experts that have this game down cold, meaning Sweater Mike and Banker Dave. So I'm going to let them teach. I'm rusty. I've played it. I don't know. Pro I, I think I've dined uh, Lahav, but it's been well over a year since I played it. So I figure I'd let them teach it. So uh, if you all have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And without further ado, Mike, Dave, take it. All right. Well, um, good afternoon, everybody. Here will be a quick rules dump for you, and uh, I'll start it off, and Dave can pick it up in a little bit. So we're playing Lahav today. This is a game set in the <coughs> lovely little undeveloped, as of yet, seaside town of Lahav uh, in France, and represented by the board. Uh, each of the players will move along a track here, collect goods from the uh, from from the wharf sides. We will collect the goods. We will build buildings. We'll build ships that will appear on this side of the board um, and work our way toward victory um, in that way. So, we'll so real quick, let me interrupt. I mean, it's a yeah. basic game in yeah. a sense that you have two yeah. options. You have two options yeah. on your turn. You either take an offer or move your dude move your to dude. a building and do whatever the building is. I mean, it's really, I mean... Just like how Lisboa is mm -hmm. simple. You have a hand of five cards, you play a card, you do something, you draw a card. Very simple game, right? Right. <laughs> uh, the, the thing about it is, is they know that you are going to get broke, and they have these nice little loan cards that you take. Yeah, oh, er, early and often. In. Yes, absolutely. So, all right, absolutely. sorry to interrupt. Go ahead, Mike. No worries. All right, so let, let's start with the turn order uh, and see where to go from there. There's a track of seven spaces along the bottom of the board that represent uh, places for each player's ship to go. Now there's a leapfrog dynamic here. So the first player to go, we've already set up turn order, moves to the first, first location, and then either takes all of the goods from one of the wharf sides at the bottom of the board, or he moves his worker token to a building somewhere and executes what that building does. The game starts with the town of Lahav has three buildings built and owned by the town. And a player can go to any one of those buildings and do what it says. Each of these buildings um, at the beginning of the game are construction buildings that allow a player, if they have the correct resources, to build one of the buildings from the top of the three uh, construction plan uh, stacks. You get to see uh, the order of each of the buildings that will be available over the course of the game from the top of the stack down in the piles. And it's randomized every game. Yes. Uh, I want to point out the wharf sign. Yes, we have both wharves um, in, in the same stack. And the wharf is the building, of course, that you need in order to build a, a ship. ship. Right. Uh, which is a big part of this game. Now let me go back to the beginning. There's one thing about uh, there's one thing about Lahav. Money is points. Points is money. If you're spending money, you're, you're spending points. You're spending points. So keep that in mind. All right. The other thing is, is when you move in a little piece here before you take your turn, you're going to fill the money, offers right. So, for instance, this first spot, and these are all these are all. Uh, Interchangeable, so they're randomized every game. So you turn them over, face over, shuffle them up, put them out here. So we have the first one, we're going to throw one wood out here. We'll throw one clay out there. And then exactly how you said, Mike, you either take one of the offers, which is cash, fish, wood, clay, iron, grain, or cattle, or go to one of the buildings. The end. Go ahead. All right. Um Let's, uh, let's take a tour of the goods here, uh, first of all. So along the bottom, these are player aid cards, I believe, that were printed out from Board Game Geek. Yeah, they're not. They, they, normally, the, the game doesn't have any of this. This is just really invaluable. It, it is. 
All right, so along the bottom of the card, there's a list of, what is it, eight different types of goods, and the ones along the bottom are unrefined goods, mm -hmm. and the ones along the top row are the converted goods. So this is a resource collection and a resource conversion game, as well as a building mechanic here. I.e., an Uve game. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so each one, each unrefined resource has a companion at the top. Fish becomes smoked fish, grain gets baked into bread, cattle get slaughtered into meat, wood into charcoal, clay into brick, iron into steel, coal into coke, and hides into leather. There's a building that does each of those conversions somewhere in these stacks here. And the order they come out is uh, you have to deal with that in a different way every single game of Lahav. Yeah, because these are all done uh, numerically, right? Because at the top right-hand corner, there's a number that corresponds. And how does that get set up? Well, this desk deck is shuffled. It's dealt out into three stacks. Each of the three stacks are sorted from low to high. There you go. So it's the same buildings come out, but the, because you're making three random stacks of it, what's in each stack changes every round or every game, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. All right, so back to the board here. Uh, resources have two or three different types of things that you can do with them. Uh, first of all, let's start with food. Fish are worth one food apiece. Smoked fish are worth two food apiece. So more efficient. Yeah, exactly. Bread is worth two, but note grain is not worth anything. Meat is worth three food, but note cattle are not worth anything. Can't eat raw cow. Can't eat raw cow. So that's your only options for food. Fish, smoked fish, bread, and meat. Because it is a nuve game, which means there is feeding in every game. In every, uh, Not every round, though, correct? Or is it every yes, round? every round. Go every round, right. All right. Also on the player aid card, you'll see there's a light bulb here. Light bulb is energy. So wood is worth one energy. Charcoal is three. Coal is three. Coke is ten. Uh, coke becomes uh, very important in the last two turns of the game. When we're building the big ships, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. So energy comes into play when you're building ships. Uh, that's basically the only time that comes into play. Food comes into play at the end of every round. All right. Also listed on the player card is uh, a price in francs. Fish, if you sell them, are worth one franc a piece, uh, and the converted goods are worth more. Note, steel is worth eight francs a piece. That's a highly prized item, both for building big ships and for shipping for coin at the end of the game. And as you said, money is points, points is money. So yes, they're all francs, but we're probably going to call them dollars because yeah. we're those guys. Okay. All right, enough of the, of the player card. Let's go to the round structure. So here's the way eternal work. Red will move to here, do his thing. White leapfrogs over to here. We put out the resources. He does his thing. Blue moves to here. Purple moves to here. Then red forward, then white forward, then blue forward, does his thing, and then that's the end of a round. There's a stack of 20 round cards here, and we're playing a four-player game. So there's a couple of interesting things uh, to look at on this card. First one is the stew pot there with the one in it. That means at the end of the round, every player... Oh, hell. We'll do it here. We'll do it this way. We'll figure it out. All right, so the four-player... One. There you go. There you, okay. That means at the end of the round, everyone has to pay one food um, to feed their people. Now, you can, if you don't have food, you can pay francs. Uh, not a great, not a great deal because that's points, right? If you can't pay the francs, you have to take out a loan. Um, you can have as many loans in this game as you need, and you will early and often. Yes, early and often. Uh, loans give you, what is it, five francs a P, no, four. You get four and you pay back five. Yeah, you, you, you get four francs and it takes five francs to pay it off. And in addition, notice that Ed just uh, showed off a space here that has the horrible word interest on it. When a person, when, when a player moves a ship onto that space, everyone who has one or more 
loans pays one franc. One franc period, not one franc per loan. Loan. Right. Just one. So you'll hear us call out interest whenever somebody lands there because it's easy to forget about it. All right. And that, that bit about one franc, regardless of how many loans you have, is a crucial uh, strategic fulcrum in this game because you use the financing from the loan cards so that um, you can build what you need to build and do what you need to do. Yep. There's only one other rule with loan cards. You may never take them voluntarily. You may only take them when you have to. Mm -hmm. So that means paying food at the end of the round is basically the only time that you can take a loan card. If you're a buck short, uh, if you're a front short of paying for something on someone else's building, too bad. Should have played. That's that. an optional. Yeah, that's an optional thing that you can do. So therefore, sorry, you don't get a loan. Yeah, you can't take a loan for that. I want to talk a little bit about the uh, starting. Uh, first of all, the coins we're not using because they're awkward, hard to see, and so we're using chips. Uh, the other thing is, is in the regular game, you start with five bucks and a coal. That's it. Yep. There is a, a, see, it's a, shortened, a shortened version, right? Which uh, has only twelve turns instead of twenty for a four-player game. The other difference is is that you pull a lot of things out, and you also start with all kinds of goods. So uh, it speeds up the game quite a bit. But it takes a lot of that buildup that we all really enjoy out of the game. Right. So, yeah. So, but yeah, people should know. Yeah, it's an option. I've never once played the shortened game, ever. We actually did when Ann was here because she has a baby. Uh, and it, we didn't play it correctly because we forgot to take the bills <laughs> Nice. So, anyway, I wanted to point that out. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's continue with the anatomy of the round cards here. Up at the top of the card, you'll notice you see the word harvest, uh, and there's a wheat square and a double cow square next to it. So wheat and cattle in this game reproduce. Uh, if you have one or more grain at the end of harvest round, you get one more grain. Okay. Regar if you have 100 grain, you get one grain. Get one grain. Same way with cattle, you have to have two cattle. If you have two or more cattle, you have one extra cow at the end of that harvest round. If you have 74 calves or cows, you, you get, get one. One cow. So there's some sort of inverse libido thing. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows? Well, who wants extra calves hanging around? There you go. Now, let's dig down through this just a for little bit. For the special bit. building? Yeah, for... Yeah, it shows right. it on this card. Here we are. Yeah, it's all right. So, in round four... Yeah, that is the oh. town will build one of the building plans that is the Close lowest one. number. Right. And then, in the fifth round, there's one with the anchor on it right there. Special building. Exactly. Special buildings. And these are one of the... The, these are the the picante sauce, if you will, or I should think about the hollandaise. Yeah, the how Holland, appropriate, right? The hollandaise sauce on the top of this game. Uh, the special buildings do all sorts of interesting things um, that are generally more efficient than the normal buildings out here. These are one of the things that make this game special. You have to react in a strategic manner. Uh, to the special buildings as they come out. The special buildings will be built in the town of Lahav, and there is a chance for players to purchase them away and put them in their own tableau. Uh, so keep your eye out for when special buildings come out. That'll happen four or five times during the game. And there's a stack of, what, 40, 50 cards thereabouts? There could be different special buildings. Yes. So there's going to be more special buildings there that we've never seen than we actually have seen. So it'll be mm -hmm. it'll be a surprise to us, too. Yeah. All right. Uh, two more major items, and then we will begin play. Uh, on the back of each of the harvest, or the round cards, is a ship. So. Edward will show you that one. The, the game starts with wooden ships. The game progresses to iron ships. There. And then a little bit later, it progresses to steel ships. Oops. Too far. 
three uh, cards back. There we go. Steel ships. And then finally, in the last two rounds of the game, it progresses to the cruise. Uh, excuse me, three rounds. The cruise liner. All right. So why do you want to build ships? Well, think about that feeding. That feeding escalates from one food per turn at the beginning of the game all the way up to eleven. Eleven. Eleven food per round. Exactly. So what what building ships gets you is that depending on the type of ship, that ship will bring in so many food per round that you can use toward the feeding. Which, if you look, the first wooden ship right here, it shows in a four-player game, it's going to offset two of the food that you owe. So, for instance, if you owe four food, well, now you only owe two food because it's automatically deducted. If you owe two or less food, you don't owe any food. So, very, very... Uh, more, more efficient. Yes, and that is conveniently also printed on the board um, underneath the ship piles. So wooden ships, iron ships, steel ships, and luxury liners down here. So the, the food brought in by wooden ship, as, as Ed said, was two. An iron ship brings in three. A steel ship brings in five. And we have these handy little markers that are here that represent how much uh, food that you've offset. All right, now hopefully final thing is let's talk about the buildings a little bit. If I decide I want to go to a building during my turn, instead of taking the, the, offers. Offering, the offers from the wharves, you have to go, you can only take your, uh, your, your token to an unoccupied building. So I can go to any of the three um, to, start. to right. start with. Now once I'm on there, no one else can come into that building. I can then take offers for my next five, six turns. That building is locked down, and there's hardly anything anybody can do about it. Yes. And that's a great... Will thing. you move your worker off of there? Exactly. No, I don't want anybody else to do Yeah, that. exactly. Yep. Schadenfreude big time. Um, now, if, if it comes to my t turn again and I want to use my worker, I can't just lay it back down on the same building. It has to go to a different building. Right. And it can be be a good time to point out any of our buildings. Right. So each player will have their own tableau of buildings that he builds, and any building is fair game to go to. Now, going to a building may have, probably has a cost, and let's have you show them this building firm card. In the upper right hand corner of that card is a little food pot with a one in it. And what that says is if you go there, you owe one food to either the owner of the building or the bank. Or if it's your building, you don't pay for going there. It's good to be the king. It is good to be the king. All right. Uh, in lieu of food, you may always elect to pay the owner of the building francs. Uh, and you can pay them in any denomination of fish, smoked fish, bread, and meat, or any combination of that plus francs you wish. So that's one other reason to, uh, for you to build your own buildings, is not only are they worth points, as shown in the coin on the card, they also get you some amount of income. Right, be it food or possibly money, which, again, points. Or, you know, food, because if people are paying you food, that's food you don't have to pay. Exactly, because, well, food. Right. <laughs> um, all right, shown in the coin on that building, I think there's a four. I think so. You have six on this um, one. Six on that yeah. one. All right, that's how many points that building is worth at the end of the game. Six coins equals six points. For whoever owns it. Mm-hmm. That is also the purchase price that you may, as a player, pay to the town to buy that building out of the town's tableau and put it into your own. And it's always a good idea to put your buildings upside down, out towards the other players, because they want to be able to read it, whereas it's right in front of you right here, so that somebody on the other side of the table can read them. Exactly. Um... All right, there are some little symbols on some of these buildings. Uh, okay, let's focus on the hammer first. Some buildings have a hammer, meaning they're an industrial building of some sort. 
that is uh, a marker that riffs with other buildings that come out in the specials and come out in the, uh, the building tab. And actually, let me show you this as an example. So this one here has a hammer symbol, whereas this building, it says for every fisherman symbol, you get one extra fish. So there are buildings that obviously have fish symbols, and there are other buildings that have... Uh, the uh, the hammer symbol, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but they're very similar in that respect. Okay, and then there are also um, zoning markers. Which, this, which he's talking about, the building shape itself. Right, that one is residential, it I is. believe. Yep. There are also an industrial and government and uh, other. It, other. Yeah, you right. you get the idea. And there are buildings in there that give you points based on how like many symbols you have. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. All right, just one one other little bit of spice to the game to, to help you along. Uh, I mentioned that you can buy a building with cash out of the um, out of the town's pile and put it in front of yourself. If you get into dire dire circumstances, you may sell your own buildings to the town at half the listed value. So, in other words, four bucks here, you get two bucks. However, yes. However, <laughs> if if Matt owned if Matt owned this building, let's say, and I'm camping it, and he's desperate to get into that building, there's a real easy way to evict me. Sell. Sell it. So if he sells it, the worker comes home, back to my tableau, that goes out to the public, uh, to the, the town, owns it now, and now Matt can go to the building that was formerly his, and that's the that was what uh, Mike was referring to, Regarding, that's the about the only way to kick somebody out of a building, and and the and then the only the last way to kick someone out of a building is suppose the building is unowned or it's unowned by the town, and I really have to go there. I can buy that building for face value out from underneath the person, put it in my own tableau, and then use the building. There we go. So. Those are the two, exactly the two ways that you can go into an occupied building. Yep. Uh, I think that's yeah. pretty good to get started yeah. at this point, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Um, all right. So you guys are going to have the luxury of making fun of how poorly I play. Okay. And that will be, you guys, that camera over here will show my tableau. So... This is the uh, the player aid, so it has one supply. So where whenever you go out here, you put out to the offers, and then you take an action. Either you take all one offer or move your person to a new building. Additional actions that you can do: you can buy buildings, like what Mike said, from the town. You can sell buildings to the town, or at any point you can repay loans for five bucks a piece at any point during the game. That's it. That's the entire player aid right there. Um, so yeah, so red, here you go. Go ahead, move your dude. Mm -hmm. So one wood, one clay. So clay comes out and wood comes out. And now he either takes an offer or goes and builds a building. To be able to build the first buildings, you need two wood for the marketplace. You need a wood and a clay. And here you need a uh, clay and a steel iron. Sorry. And that's it. And rinse and repeat. That's it. All right. I will take the fish. All right. So nude. And it's just clockwise around the table. There, it's, It didn't just so happen that way. Uh, Matt was first, so therefore it's just Which one round robin. Which one going to take, Dave? Uh, I thought you might take the wood. I thought I might take the wood. All right. If you want, you can turn your player aid around so it's easier for you, Mike. All right, so blue is up, a wood and a cattle, which he's taking the three bucks or three francs. And I want to buy a building. Yeah. Turn the building around if you would, Dave. All right, so we have the first owned building. Six. All right, so purple throws out an iron and a franc. And these are, uh, so iron on one side, and you have the upgraded good on the other. So I just need to make sure that that is that. Uh, all 
Um, well, a lot of times in Uve games, take the most of what's out there. So I will take two clay. Easy enough. Matt's back up. Interest. Nobody has a loan yet. So if any of y'all have questions, input, whatever, feel free. I will take the wood now. All right. Keep taking the wood. Right? The, uh, it has a very quick pickup in that uh, it goes very quickly the first few rounds, and then it kind of slogs down a little bit in the middle and towards the end. So the first four or five rounds, pretty, you think, wow, this is going to be an hour-long game. Not so much. Iron. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to. So if you notice, there are seven spots. We are four players. If you look, I did not get a second action. Everybody else at the table got a second action. However, next turn, I will, and then uh, one of the other guy or blue, will not. So, all right. So now we come, we harvest. If anybody that has grain, you get an additional grain. Nobody has it, right? Two cattle. Nobody has two cattle. We all owe one food, or in place of food, you can pay one buck. Well, I'm sorry, one franc. Oh, franc. Okay, so that's done. Then we flip that over, throw it out there for the, it says what, what stack, because all the wooden ships are the same, all the iron, all the steel. Luxury lanterns are different from one another. They are different in that the value is different. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. The, the points escalate. They uh, not within the wood ships. I think they only do for the luxury liners, right? No. No. Because uh, you can have a steel ship that's twenty sixteen or twenty four. Okay, I think it's only these then, because all the wooden ships are two. Okay. So maybe they go. Okay. All right. Cool. So that's the end of the first round. Everybody paid uh, for their food. Good. And now, purple leapfrogs and comes back around. Throw out a wood and a clay. We have two clay. Uh, I don't really have a choice, do I? I could. There's no one there. Ugh. All of my options are terrible. Um... He took the one that has the food. All right. Well, I'll take a monopoly on the clay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I won't. I will take the grain. That way, I can start getting my grain production going. So red's next. One wood, one buck. Good. One wood, one cattle. Taking the clay. And blue is getting one iron and one buck. All the fish is at the end. That's what you guys were talking yep. about. All right. So interest. Nobody has any loans yet. A wood and a fish. Hmm. Yeah, I like I like harvesting. So I want the wood because there's three wood out there, but the two cattle, the fact that they mate, it's hard to pass that up. I'm surprised you guys did. Red. Uh, thinking of it. Just, you know, <laughs> yeah, it, whichever one you. Yeah, I was actually going to choose whatever one you didn't. I mean, that makes sense. Yep. All right, so fish in a clay, right? But remember, victory points. Sure, that's absolutely. That, no, that, when in doubt, take points, right? <laughs> Iron and canoe Fish in a G rain. All right. I'm going to go to the big construction firm. All right, which that allows you to build one or two buildings. Mm -hmm. And what else does it say? Pay two food. Okay. I have no food, so I have to pay in money. Okay. And we're going to build these two buildings, the fishery and the sawmill. So two clay 
one wood and one iron. Bueno, so like that, he now has two buildings out in his tableau. And just to point out, it doesn't cost anything to go there. Yep. So basically what it ends up being is worth 24 points to Mike. Scoot him down just a hair. There you go. So you can see in the top left corner of the fishery, it's worth 10 points. Sawmill's worth 14 points. So he's already running away with this. Not really, but you get the idea. All right, so that's the end of the round. We've reached the seventh one. So we do a harvest. Anybody else have a grain gets a grain. Anybody that has two cows gets a cow. Don't mind if I do. That's two thumbs, two cows, and this guy. Yep. And then we pay. And then we pay one, one food or one money. One, one thing to point out, one of the cards that is now available has a brick on it. And that's very unusual because bricks usually come out really late in the game. And so having one is... Which you need. Good. And when we get to the wharf, you're going to see that we somebody needs to donate a brick to the wharf to be able to make shipbuilding available. But you guys will see that as we go. All right, Blue, you're up. So Blue, it's a wood and a clay. Stack of wood. Shocker. Right? Which is unfortunate for me because now it gets a wood and a buck. <sighs> so what do we have here? We have a couple of clay and food. And and that's that's basically it. So I really need to get some wood going. Or uh So what I'm debating between right now, just to think out loud, is the charcoal kiln only takes one clay. None of these offers are super exciting to me. There's three fish, so the, it's basically I'm going to take the three fish or the charcoal, build the charcoal kiln, because this building, this building firm, doesn't require me to pay anything to go to it. So I have the clay, but I'm tired of spending points for money. No clay, no clay, no clay. Oh, wait. So instead, since nobody else has clay at the table, I'll take the three fish, and now I'm good for a couple of rounds of feeding. All right, red. A cattle and a wood. I'll take the clay. All right. So now, the next time around, Matt might be able to build it. So nude gets a buck and an iron out there. So as you can see, this is just mo cruising right along, and we're already three rounds into it. Coming to the sawmill. Oh, you know what, guys? Hold on one second. We forgot to do this. Ooh, oh, dude. yeah. Good call. So yeah. it's actually two food. Ooh. So it is a good thing that I took the fish uh, oversight on my part. Mm. All right. Coming to my own sawmill here. Okay, and what's it do? Build one building that requires wood for building for one fewer wood. Okay. All right, so I'm going to build a marketplace. Which normally would require two wood, but because of the sawmill, only costs one. Only costs one. And what's the what's the marketplace do? The marketplace costs two food or one front to go to, and it says take two different standard goods, including hides and coal, plus one additional different good per house symbol. Uh, that you own, correct? That, that, that I own, yes. Uh, and then look at the top two special buildings and return them in any order. So you, foresight, yes. kind of. Okay. All right, so blue, you're up. So interest, fish and wood come out. No one saw a thing. <laughs> You're killing me, Dave. Killing me. <laughs> so I was going to take the wood because there were three there. I just I can't get stuff going here. It's, All right. It's a that, fish that and a clay. I know. It doesn't mean I can't lament it. Of course. All right. Well, now that people have clay, 
I have food to be able to cover my, my food expenditure here, so I don't have to sweat that. Notice there's no harvest this round. Uh, so I think I will finally go ahead and go out and build one to the building firm. It's free to go to. Uh, I will build the charcoal kiln for one clay. And now the charcoal kiln allows you to turn wood into charcoal, which is worth more francs, but also it's worth more energy, which is going to come into play. Unfortunately, nobody is going to pay me to come here, but it is worth eight points at the end of the game. So there's that. Well, they're having a good time out there, aren't they? All right, so red uh, fish in a green. All right. All right, so now no harvest, so nobody gets anything. However, everybody's going to owe to food or a mix of food and cash. Everyone's on the honor system for paying their own stuff. Okay. I cannot pay, so I have to take a loan, which gives me four, two of which I pay to the bank. So I come away with two. So question, um, and just to clarify, I know the answer, but um, if you had the money, did, would you have to pay the money to yes. do this? Yes. Right. You must pay if you can yeah, for you the can harvest. only take a loan when you have no choice. Okay. All right. So here we go. A third wooden ship. Notice still $2. All right. So at the end of this round, okay, fine. They do have some All right. All right. So here we go. At the end of this round, we got a harvest, but we're gonna, and we're also going to owe to food. And if nothing changes right now, call out the numbers of the top buildings. The joinery is four, the abattoir is nine, and the hardware store is six. So Which means the city itself will build the joinery at the end of this round if the joinery is still out there, because these only go in ascending order, so they're only going to go up. So to food and Nude, you're up. Clay of wood. Well, let's work out this marketplace thing here since it's in front of us. Two different standard goods, including hides and coal, plus one per house. I have one house. So right. Three different standard goods. Standard being your basic goods here on the bottom row. All right. So that is going to be a clay. A wood. And for your third magic trick. An iron. Of course. Which makes sense. Which basically he just built or got everything he needs for the abattoir. Not that he's planning on that. Not that I'm planning on that. Put a wood in a... I got I get a frunk. Now that he's vacated the sawmill, I will go there. Which the sawmill again is build a building for one less wood than what it says. Two wood. So he's building the joinery. Yes. So now the building that will be built as of right now is the bake five. House. So the bakehouse. The, the, the game will automatically build that. And that turns grain into bread. All right. So we got a wood and a cattle. So now, right now, begins the real tough decisions for for somebody like me. So I finally have access to wood, but there's a lot of cattle out here, and I know he's probably going to build the abattoir, which turns cattle into leather as well or uh, hides and meat. And meat can really go a long way because meat is three food and should note, if you pay three food, but the food owed is only two, you don't get change. But still, really, really tough decisions at this point. Another idea, because I will get the final action this turn, is I could take the clay. So let me let me pause real quick. Matt, what are you going to do on your turn? Build us something. Okay. He actually could do the abattoir as well. Yes, he is planning on it. Okay, yeah. So I'm actually going to take the clay. Even though I've been bitching and moaning about the wood, I'm going to take the clay to add to my stack. Because <laughs> nobody else will be able to build the bakehouse. And with me having the grain engine that I already have, it makes sense. All right. All right so now Matt is going... 
that building. The construction firm, which costs two food to go there. But I'll pay, not a buck there, but a buck there. Okay. Free parking. That's an interesting. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, add to where you have to pay the the offer for. Yeah, you know, it only costs one food over here. Yes. But you're building two. I'm gonna. Yeah, well, he uh, may. Yes. Because I have four wood, so one wood, one wood, one clay, one steel for the abattoir. Iron. Iron. Right for the abattoir. And then three and a clay for the uh, hardware store. store. Nice. Well done. Good build. Very very efficient. All right. Okay, I'll do them this way so people can. No, nobody can see them. Keep going uh, up here to where they're sideways. There you go. At least for the first yeah. bit, so they can see, get a gist of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be forward and put out a fish in the wood. Uh, interest. So. Oh, look who has here we go. Interest. So Mike owes. Uh, so it's a fish in a wood. All right. And All right. I happen to have two dollars to my name at the moment, so I can buy the clay pit outright. or the clay mound, which is really nice because you buy it. It costs the food for somebody to go there, but people get three clay plus. Let me see it real quick so I can show folks. Yeah. So this is a we were talking about the hammers earlier. So for every hammer symbol that you have, you'll get one additional clay on top of the three. So does it say is there any limit? Not for that. No. Part. Nope. It's a good place for me to go. Yeah. Right. All right. So blue. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. To my action. Ah, because again, going back to the. Well, actually, I'll show it here because you get to take one of those two actions. An additional action are these actions here. So he bought, but he still has his base action still to go. I can either collect four fish from here or four francs from here and keep someone else from getting this. So I'm going to take the four francs. All right. Semper I. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, fish and clay. No, I mean, it's a little bit easier on me as far as... Choices? <laughs> Choices. Haven't <laughs> heard that super I. Jeez. <laughs> uh, it's two more this time. There's two fish. I'm going to get into the cattle business. All right. Wow. See, okay. So now... Just like any good game, there is a ton of good choices. And do I stay on target? Because we had talked last turn that I wanted to take the bakehouse because I that's why I took the clay. However, there's a huge stack of wood out here now. There's a whole lot of grain to be able to go to the bakehouse. And there's two iron, which doesn't happen very often at this part yeah. of the game. I... Yeah. Um, this is why this is one of the greatest games ever. <laughs> it really is fantastic, <laughs> but it, it's brutal, man. And, it and really is. The thing about it is, whatever you don't take, you know you're... I, I'm giving... I, yeah, bad. exactly. I'm totally feeding y'all. Now, uh... T stay on target. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Or Red one or Red Leader, uh, stay on target. Right. Uh, man, all that iron is awfully tasty. Um, but if that iron does go to pass, if you look at it the way it goes, I will actually end up on the iron spot next round. So there would be three iron there if it stays. So it makes sense to go yeah. ahead and uh, it's unlikely that it happens. Yeah. Granted, I, I get that, but I'm just trying to, you know, give ideas for the folks watching. Um, so instead, no, I had your AP. We all know that. Well, no, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to be a team player. Um, it was my well, chance. <laughs> well, one, one other thing that has me concerned, though, is I have one fish, which is one food. I ha If I want to build that bakehouse, I have to give it to Dave to be able to go to his building firm there because it costs one food. Now I have no food, which means I'm going to have to spend two bucks. And then if I end up coming here to take the the iron i now will have to take a loan because i won't be able to pay for the food for the subsequent turn so it kind of gives you an idea of what a shitty spot i'm in already no, you're in a great spot there's all kinds of good stuff to take i know but it makes me wonder whether or not the bakehouse is a smart idea so in other words yes i'm going to do that so here we go dave 
you get you. the fish because I am coming from this building firm to that building firm. I will pay two clay. I will build said bakehouse. Well, and the other thing is, Actually, is, if you start yours on that end and I start mine, oh, that'll work. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Good call. The the other thing to keep in mind now is, Mike here was really going strong with all with four different companies versus our two. Right. And so that was another reason for people to buy the stuff that they're buying. Yep. All right. So that's the end of the round. We have a harvest. If you have a grain, get another grain. Yes. If you have two cows or more, take another moo cow. Done. Everyone done harvesting? Pay your two food, or in my case, two quiche. That is a giant stack of money. Sure is. Okay. All right, and then the game will build the lowest numbered uh, building out there, which currently is going to be the smokehouse. Smoke them if you got them, which allows you to turn fish into smoked fish, which is even better. And the wharf is already out. Yep. Now the game be really begins because the wharfs are out. Right, which allows you to build ships, which offsets food. So I can do more coke, so I can work more hours, so I can make more money, so I can do more coke. And just in time, the higher price, the higher value. value wooden ship came out, which is typically the case. Right. So at the end of this round, we are going to do a harvest. Still two food, so yay, not too painful. And a special building oh, is available. You know, I went to my uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no, sir. At no. this point, no. I'm sorry. You okay. did go to the marketplace, but remember to do your... Coke when you've got it. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> All right, Red, you're up. Wood and clay. Ooh. Welcome to the deliciousness that is La Havre. Seriously, it's such a relatively simple game. Relatively. I mean, you have one worker, and you have two options. Yeah. You build, or you take an offer. But, man, the... the the agony of the actual choices is yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to get to me, but it made sense because of the fact that I was going to land on the iron. So, and maybe I don't vocalize that normally, hoping you guys don't notice it. But again, doing it for the viewers. So six wood, right? Um, I'm, I'm not yeah. diluting myself. No, so that, that's impossible to pass up. So that's a non-decision. Yep. So wood and cattle. Teach me how to have these. Non decisions, Mike. I have one more chance, but if I pass it up, it'll be gone. My first chance to get. But it's only two. Mm. <sighs> That's really tough. Oh, did, and we put out the wind. Yeah. Okay. Did we? Yeah. Okay. All right. So in iron. All right. So just to think out loud here. So I have one coal. Every way starts with a coal at the end of the or at the beginning of the game. That's worth three energy. So my building here, the bakehouse, requires per grain used. It's unlimited how many times you do this, but you pay half an energy per grain. I have three grain here. There are three grain out here. That would be six, which is three energy. But it turns these bread into two food per plus coins. Yep. That's an absolute no-brainer for me. So that's why I'm going to choose the grain. But again, because of the harvest, I'm only going to probably spend five of them so that I keep that. Interest. Mike pays his buck. We put out a fish in a wood. And this game is different than any of the others because all the fish is back here, all the woods out there. And right. It's like, yeah. Because <laughs> fish is food. Yep. Wait, wait, unless this is Finding Nemo, then fish are friends, not food. Right? <laughs> yeah. Fish are food. Yeah, they are. They are. I agree. Gosh. I think I have the youngest child here. The youngest Ooh. child? Well, seeing as Matt and I don't have children, right. not together or separately. Right. No. Uh, Sweater Mike, all his kids are far grown up. Mine's 28. <laughs> I, I, I think you are right. You have the youngest kid here. No cost for that, right? All right. So, Matt, uh, put it on the building itself. 
No, there you go. Yeah. All right, so he goes to the fishery. It doesn't. Uh, he gets three fish, and if he had any buildings that have the fisherman symbol, he does have one. He gets an extra fish, so four fish for Matt. I didn't even notice that symbol was there. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so that's that, and you're not buying or anything. I, obviously, any of these bonus actions that people have for options, they will just say what they're going to do. Um, just don't forget about that. So we put out a fish in a clay. And Mike, you're oh. up. And one nice thing, at least in my position, of being able to try and talk to y'all while you're thinking out loud here is I can AP, and it just sounds like I'm trying to explain it to y'all. So I have a built-in excuse. That's very awesome. clever. Well, the, <laughs> other, the other thing is whoever lands on this spot only gets one turn. That is true. That whoever, yeah, that that is very very true. All right. So Which, here's my yeah, of sucks. my dilemma. Do I take some clay to set up for building any of these buildings here, or do I go over here to the hardware store and get a wood, a brick, and a which um, we're going to need for the wharf. Mm -hmm. Which exactly we will need for the wharf. I'm going to come over here and do that. So you owe one food to one. Matt. Right there. So, a wood, a brick, and an iron. And it's important to note, don't be afraid of taking loans early in this game. You do what you need to do. Focus on getting an engine uh, going because you'll always be able to pay back loans uh, as the game progresses. So, blue is up. We're putting out a grain and a fish. And I only got one turn next time. Yeah, whoever ends it gets one, and then yeah, it's it's clever little uh, leapfrog, in the fact that it's seven, so it's always odd. It's effectively a rondelle. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's just a linear rondelle. So I'm going to give a fish to Mike. Oh, thank you. Go to the clay mine and get five instead of. So he gets hammer. three clay, and then he gets one more for every hammer he has. Two hammers on both of his buildings, ergo five clay. It's worth the food. All right, so now we harvest. So, anything over there for Matt? Nope. Okay. That's so, a cow. so, now the nice thing is remember, I was talking about the bakehouse here. Now I have seven, so I can produce that six and keep that one to make sure that I'm not, I keep that engine going of building up grain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, so now we have harvested, pay our two food. I have one buck. I will take a loan. So I get four minus one that I owe, so I get three bucks. So I cannot pay again, so I'll be taking a loan. And you will owe two of it, meaning you get two bucks. All right, and Matt, you paid yours. Paid two fish. All right. And now you can take three bucks and pay, for, pay a fish if you were at you know, that is a better idea. There we Just go. Just because it's worth a point. Yep. And and also, we're telling Oh, yeah, no, no. Think, yeah, <laughs> think out loud. Think, I mean, I, I unless it's something like that's going to completely screw you that, like, oh, I can't say that. No, nah, have fun. I mean, the way I see it is all of us are trying to win, but it's not. we're not going to be right. totally bloodthirsty, especially with the stream and everything. The other special thing that happens right now is Ooh, the special card. The first special building of the game. And this is the Clay Company. So we will do it here so I can read it. The Clay Company, it uh, uh, costs one food to go there. You turn in one clay and one wood and get three bucks. And you can buy it for six dollars. Cool. All right. So that comes out to the city. And it's available for anyone to buy. And that can be done or, any number of times. It is. So if, if you have huge stacks, you can really make some bank off of that. Mr. I have a tower of wood, mm -hmm. which folks can't see it anymore. Just take my word for it, because remember, you did take that six wood. So that is the end of that. We put out another wooden ship. At the end of this round, there will be no harvest. Now we're up to three food. Oy. And it starts with the cool kid. <laughs> put out. Matt, will you guys quit doing this and teasing me with all this clay? <laughs> Um, I have not gotten a single wood this entire game. <laughs> There's three of them there. That's crazy. Yeah. So here we are in the sixth round, 
and I have had zero wood. I know, sounds like a personal problem, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's so, Mike. It's we're actually Mike. going to come over here to my bakehouse, stay on target. <laughs> I don't owe the food because it's uh, my building. And we're going to take six. We're going to take six uh, grain, flip them over, turn them into six bread. And for that, that costs three energy total. So I'll get rid of my coal. I think that's a good use of the coal. And get a half coin rounded down, correct? Or right. is it is rounded down? So six, that's three bucks. So take three bucks. I think overall, it was a pretty efficient little turn. Sweet. You and now we have... About food for a while. Exactly. Now, uh, with that six, I actually have 12 food stored up right. there. However, three food doesn't really help me because the, the bread you don't get changed yeah, but for. You, but you can use a coin. You can yeah, exactly. A fish, fish right, yeah, to supplement. I mean, you know. Loaves and fishes. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. All right, red. One wood and one buck. This is the quietest I've ever heard you be this entire game. Just real quiet. Yeah. All right. I'm letting the experts tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm watching oh, and learning oh, intently. Oh, there you go. Jeez. Yep. Every time, dude, he has a mountain of wood. Except the thing to do is to come over here to the sawmill and build this wharf. So that requires one wood because it's one less. Two clay. One clay, and if you look carefully, a brick, Wait. show them what it says on the front of the brick. Oh, right. So the brick also can be a clay, so you can consider it lower, you just can't consider it the higher thing. Clay doesn't supplement or uh, fill in for brick. It does happen the other way, though. And that so the wharf is out. And here. go ahead and read wh what what that says. All right, the wharf costs two food to visit, and it allows you to build a wooden ship one time. Uh, there's also a space on the wharf for someone to place a brick on it to upgrade the wharf to uh, a more modern wharf, and that is necessary in order to build anything that isn't ship. a wire uh, a wooden ship. Yep. So wooden ships don't require the brick, but anything past the wooden ship does. And again, the reason you want ships, two reasons. One, later on, where's the shipping office? A uh, shipping line. It's right there. When that comes out, you're going to be able to ship goods uh, for victory, for, for cash um, on these ships. And then they also offset food, like we had mentioned. So. And I'm also going to buy the black market. Two fronts. Which says, take two tokens of each type whose offer space is empty. So if you just so happen, four of these are open, you're getting eight goods, two of each of them. That is really, really, really uh, a good tasty. Early game card. It is. All right. So that was a rather involved uh, action. Good job. One iron and one buck. I want it all. <laughs> so <laughs> take it all there. Four fish or three fish. Sorry, two he iron. Wants it now. Yeah, I want it all. All right. Just because there's never two iron. Interest. So I owe. Mike has two loans. Still only one buck. As a reminder. So a wooden fish. Oh my. Yeah. Isn't that looking tasty? And I don't uh, get to go. It's all that money, but. I think the wood's more important to me right you now. You finally got some wood. I know, right? Uh, hold on one second. Before we do anything, let me look around. That clay company is kind of nice. It's six bucks, which of course means I have five. I'm done. That's all. The building firm, there's four. Yeah, but it, there's no reason to have it. Mm -hmm. Kettle of fish. Just to remind you, the charcoal kiln is available for action. It doesn't get me anything, so I should shut up. That doesn't help. All right, never mind. <laughs> it just bothers However, me. However, Mike's got that many buildings. Yeah. I expected one of you two to win this, but we're still having fun. That's all that matters. Yeah. It still bothers me. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of money there, too. There is. All right. I'll take the money. All right, and to bring it home, a fish and a grain. 
Well, y'all didn't use it, so I will. There's my own wharf. Three energy. I don't have the wood. And five. That's why you start with the coal, is yeah. to be able to build a ship. Four point wooden ship. Okay, so now he takes that on there to show that in, I scoot it up a little bit. There you go. So he now gets two food that he does not have to pay. So we're at the end of the round. No harvest, no other buildings, pay three food. I will pay two food. Oh. Well, I can't pay for all of two my food, food, so I'm still taking another food. And a buck. There we go. Okay. So at least there's that, Dave, that he is loading up on the loans. Uh, what did you say? Luck and two. Is that right? Uh, it takes three food. This takes care of two of it. That's then right. I had to pay one more. Right. And I was out of money. Okay. All How right. How you explain that? Because it was odd. And the first iron ship. Was which, there a harvest that term? No, there was not. Okay. So the iron ship cannot be built until the wharf is modernized. So, a brick. blue, wooden and clay. As much as I want to do all kinds of other things, I can't pass. Which I'm really glad because I would have had to have taken the fish if you didn't because it's too much fish I mean, to pass up. I, I've lost all my money because <laughs> I didn't have any food. So. All right. So one wood and one coin. So nothing out here is super tempting to me right now, which allows me options. So let's see. The abattoir definitely is, I'm looking strong at that. Uh, the colliery is also really, really nice. And I can, nope, I only have one clay. So never mind. I need one, something with one clay. So I can't, I can't build any of those. And I have no fish for the smokehouse, so the only thing that makes sense to me at this point is to come, yeah, I guess so, to the abattoir. I owe Matt two bucks, two bucks. and now I can turn in as many fit, uh, cows as I want, so that's going to be three cows, and I get half a hide per cow, which means I get one hide. Which hides are worth two points apiece, but eventually turn into leather. And, the, and yeah, which ships very nice. So now again, I have tons of food, so I don't have to worry about feeding for quite a while now. There and there. Right, my first order of business is going to be to buy that clay company. All right, so six, six bucks. bucks. Go there, and then I will take the cows. Okay, and one iron and a buck. Someone's hanging out in my fishing hole. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who. So yeah, that's a perfect example. Red stay in there until he has a reason to leave. And so now Mike, even though he owns the building, so sorry, Charlie. You know, sell it. you know what? Let's use that black market. Two tokens of each type whose space is empty. That so two fish, fish and two cattle. And two cattle. Which means he just made himself a harvest. And Dave? Interest. Oh, buck. Interest. Uh, a wooden of fish. Somebody get the fish. Got it. You doing okay, buddy? No, he's fine. He's just bathing, or he's licking his his bed. He 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 spilled something tasty over there. I just don't have any. Oh yeah, I do have food. So I'm going to pay food to go to this building. All right. I believe this will work, and I want to buy this and this. Who are the grocery market in the room and that might be even better. Definitely want that. So that's two. Two wood, two, two clay, clay, and two, two iron. So that's all right. Cool. And then you would owe three clay and is one that one for or four? Colliery, okay. Or I could buy the grocery market because that came out. 
which is a really nice building. Ten points. They're same points. Coles, are, yeah, it's a tough call. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I oh, it's a brick, so it's made up for me. It's a brick there, not a correct. Which nobody so, owns bricks, correct? One, okay. And three. This so, is a great place to come here and get them. I oh, I'm fully aware. It's right under the art center. All right, so he built all those those two buildings. Good use of resources. All right. So now we have two wharves, and the first shipping line is out there. Hmm. Okay, costing two wood okay. and three bricks. We're now almost into the brick age. All right, fish and clay. All right, so thinking out loud, I can go here to go ahead and get an extra wood, a brick, and an iron, which allows me to build that grocery market, and I'd be the only one. Or that shipping line, I could, yeah, we're a ways away from that, still being able to be built. Well, it's three bricks. Right, so yeah. we're, we're still a little ways away from that. Another option is I have this wood, which I can turn into charcoal. Or, uh, to be able to possibly build a wooden ship, but I have enough food and I'm not really wanting to ship on that, so that makes that choice easy. I pay one food to Matt, or in this case, it's just going to be a buck. I will get a wood, a brick, and an iron. A wood, a brick, and an iron. There, one brick, and one wood. All right, Red, what are you doing, Matt? I am going no, over there first. Um, no. Yep, I'm going to go to my laboratory since you moved off of it. Okay. Now remember, okay. if you if you do two cows, mm -hmm. they won't have babies. That's true. Let's do one. See, I'm, I'm letting you know that mm -hmm. you should keep two of something. I'm yeah. trying for, to, to harken back to roads and boats last night. <laughs> <laughs> I would have let you know that next evening. No, you're fine. I'm not um, bitter. No, but if you do one, you don't, you don't get the hide. <laughs> you, you wouldn't get the hide. Hmm. I may change my mind. You, yeah, yes. We're doing it for one calf or yeah. cow really isn't so worth it. So I will take this one. Okay. You just took all the work. You did. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we harvest. Here, what's that like for you guys, huh? I, that's old hat, man. We've we've mastered this. All right. So there. Then everybody owes three food. Mike owes one less food. So I have all this beautiful, well, tasty what? steaks. Because yeah, he's uh, got right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's three food. Boom, done. And now the city builds the lowest value. So nineteen, eighteen, eleven. Yeah. Oh, Thank we have you. culture. We have the art center and. Welcome to Bricks. So now, that I said earlier, oh, we got a ways for that. Well, now it takes two wood, a clay, and an iron to be able to build the brickwork. So we start out with Mike with a wood and a clay, sir. Look at all that clay. Whew. Uh-huh. And I didn't have this uh, planned out yet. <laughs> Who's blue? All right. What are you doing on your turn? I will probably be going to the John Lee. Okay. Oh, to get cash. And seven dollars for three? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to come over to the marketplace again. Which? What all does that do this time, Mike? So you get to look at the. Special. Cards. Yeah, how about that? And you put them down in any, any order, order right? Oh hell no! This one's coming up next. <laughs> Can we go let Asher out? Hey, go ahead. 
Uh, all right, and I still only have one house, so three different types of goods. So it will be a wood, and it will be a coal, and an iron. Yes. Where'd you go? Sorry. The marketplace. Right, right. Oh, you got your resources and you, you set up the special building. Right. So a one. buck and a wood. Now, I need to play for bricks. Joinery, you said? Yeah, that's what I was thinking I'd do. So I turn in two wood. And get six bucks. Six bucks. So I, I will admit, I needed you to get the hell off that construction I firm. <laughs> I, know. I, I know you did. I, I was also looking at the clay, but right. it's like, right. you know, I, I'm sitting here saying, how the heck am I going to feed my So, people? So, yeah, so I was I was just trying to encourage you to go to the joinery for your sake. Yeah. As right. well as mine, mind you. So we are going to come over to the construction firm. I will pay two food to the game, which is one tasty loaf of fresh baked bread. And we're going to build the shipping, sorry, the brickworks and the grocery market. So that is a total of three the wood. grocery market takes a brick. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay. So three wood and a brick, a clay and an iron. Right there. Boom. 24 points. I might have been watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. That's what I did last Very yep. nice. There we go. And, and now people are Coming starting to, to get a little bit more caught up as yes. far as Mike. Yep. Really and question. Mike has all those loans, whereas the rest of us, you know, either have one just one. It's my pet loan. Oh, and on the other side of the, uh, of the player aid is the buttery. You store food here uh, for the end of next round. So if you have a hard time, stay on target. Don't spend this stuff. You can do that. All right. So. Matt, yes, your one turn. Make it a uh, doozy. I believe we shall. I'm going to go up here, under there, and nine bucks. Well done. Yowza. There you go. Get your money. Well done, because the clay uh, company turns one of each of those into three bucks. All right. Interest. Interest. Shit. All right. So back up to two loans. So you get uh, three dollars. Uh, three dollars. Take this card in four francs if they are needed to pay interest or to pay for food during a harvest. So. Yeah, four minus one, right? Yeah, dirt, because I have to pay the interest. Okay, I won't argue with him. Sorry, Dave. It's all right. Oh, it's, it's my turn, and I'm gonna move over here to the wharf and build another wooden ship. You have the energy. Oh, you do. You have the coal. Yeah, because he took the coal. Right. Notice that. So now we have four. Food. So would that make you an Iron Man? Wooden ships and iron men? Yes, okay. it would, in fact. So now he has... Uh, move that up a little bit, the four, so people can see it. So now he has two wooden ships, which offsets four food, but he doesn't get the difference. So he owes three food, so the fourth food is just lost. So there's five fish. There is. There's five clay. I take it you're taking the five clay? I'm taking five clay. All right. Don't blame and me. And to bring it home, one fish and one grain. Now there's six fish. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of fish, but I'm pretty good on food. But I'll be honest, this grocery market's awfully tempting. Mm -hmm. What is it? One buck to go there? No, it's free for me. Yeah, it is one buck for y'all, but it's it's a cattle, a fish, a grain, and the upgrade as well right. for each of those. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to buy it, but I want to buy everything, so that's no secret. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See, it's a good way to prime your uh, production pipeline because you get a grain, so yeah. it would start the grain cycle. Right, yeah. well, right. 
and there is a harvest this round. But I'm also looking at the charcoal kiln because I need energy to be able to build ships ultimately. And I have none right now. I have zero energy. It's a low energy day. Uh, no, 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 no. There. None of the offers are super exciting to me. There's four bucks, which that's nice. That is four dollars sitting over there. No, we're just going to come over here, come visit, show you guys the way, how to go into my buildings. Yeah, so, we can't go there. Right. Well, I'll move soon enough. Get one of each of those, one of each of those, and one of each. One too many. Smoke fish and regular fish. All right, so let me organize this. Give me just a second. And then for the end of the round, we are doing a harvest, fellas. I'll get you, my, Matt. Wait, do you need one of each or is it just cattle? Just cattle. Okay. There you go. And uh, can somebody, I need, I got it. And a meat and a bread. It costs three. Okay, three. So three there's that. Four. Okay, so that meat uh, that I just got. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I'm cheating. That was a cattle, not a meat. That goes away. There we go. And now the, the town builds the lowest building, which is 2018 or 15, and local court. This is an interesting card. So I had mentioned don't be afraid of loans earlier, and this is a good reason. It says if you have one loan, return it. You just pay it back for free. Well, sort of for free because you have to actually take the action to go here. If you have two loans, return one of them and get two bucks. Or if you have three or more loans or your name is Mike, return two of the loans. <laughs> so that's why you shouldn't be scared of taking loans. And the city now built that. Congratulations. And did you flip? I can take yeah. it off. Okay. So And now we're up to four. And now that goes another wooden ship. Notice it's a six. It is. Harvest at the end of this round. Four food in a special building, which Mike secretly knows. Yes. One wood and one clay. So for those of you all watching, you enjoying this? Is it making sense? Have you played La Havre before? And if not, does it look interesting? Mill. Talk to us. And we are going to build the tannery for a clay, right? Is that a brick? That's a brick. Never mind. Don't. We're, was. We're, we're happy to have you over here on our buildings. But instead, we'll go to here. Don't. And so three of them. All right, so three food, which also includes one and a half hides, which means one hide. A wood. And a frog. And a frog, and I'm taking the wood. Damn it. I didn't figure it was going to get to me, but no, now I... a wood <laughs> a wood and a cattle. Can't get any wood. All right, you can take one. Yeah, we could take one. You can get a wood, a brick, and an iron here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Lots of things I can do. Yep. Oodles of choices. Lots of choices. I'll set up with a flip card. I know what I will do if you don't. You son of a... I was get Again. Again. I was going to get three iron. <sighs> yes. No. Zut de no. Which seems appropriate, right? Because we're in France here. La Havre, right? Mm -hmm. So... You know, so goes life. Or that's frustrating. All right. Um, son of a biscuit! I really was going to do that. Plenty of food, but I have nothing else. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I need bricks. So to be able to build bricks, who? Oh, I have it. I'm like, who? Who got the brickworks? I did. Yes, you do. And you need energy to do that. Yes, you do. Curses. Yep, pretty much. So, you know what? There's only one clay there. I could get per hammer. That sucks. I have no hammers. Okay, so that makes that choice easy. I'm going to go over to my charcoal kiln. 
And for free, I can just turn wood into charcoal, and I'm just going to do it all. So all four wood becomes 12 energy. Cool. Yes. And I'm done. Uh, I'm going to owe for food, which I'm covered. That's four. I'll pay five. That's Interest. Fine. All right. So there's another buck. And that is a fish in a wood. Um, yeah. A big fat stack of cash over here. Yeah. I missed that. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, I did it. <laughs> I should have taken it. Hey, Mira. Another live stream. Yeah, yeah. This is our second one today, uh, fifth of the week. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, how's it look? I don't know if you've seen the other setup since we've uh, modified it. Uh, how's it look to you over there? Um, another option that we can mess with also is if we need a close up of my tableau over here of my different goods, we can switch it to that as well. So, pretty cool. And this is why being poor is not a good place to be. Is it ever? Yeah, not that I can think of. Right, yeah. Oh, I have more money? Oh, it's terrible. Say it ain't so. Yeah, it has a lot of fish. There's a lot of fish. Hey, you're you're short on food. Mm. Oh, you can't go there. You can't go there. Because and you cannot take take a loan to go here either because it's a voluntary action, so he can't take a loan to pay me the one dollar. So I really want off that wharf. Black market is good for two francs. Yeah, that's a that's a later thing. Well, I don't know. You know that you are correct. So he pays back two loans for free, and by pays back, the court just forgives his loans. So a fish and a grain. He declares bankruptcy. Let's 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 say it the way it is. Right. So I can get Ray Sullivan into the grain market with five. Thank you, Matt. That didn't need to take that long. Wow. <laughs> that comes up in my head. of fish, dude. All right. So now, harvest. It's raining cows. It's raining cows. Hallelujah. It's raining. All right. Everyone done four. harvesting? You owe four food, which I'm going to pay two bread. And special building. Is a blast furnace. Really, Mira, you've never played, uh, never played uh, Lahav. Well, this will be a good one then. All right. So, blast furnace is the second special building. Uh, you can take three energy of any kind. See if uh, actually, hold on. Let me switch this over so you guys can see it. Oop. There we go. So, the blast furnace. It costs. Let me stop moving. So. Ah, come on. Maybe easier just to play it down. Yeah, actually, yeah. There we go. So the blast furnace. It costs three food or two money to go there. And you can spend three energy up to six times to make an iron. So basically it's just mass producing iron is what it is. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen that one. Nope, me neither. All right, so the city builds that. And what's the cost? Ten dollars. Which Matt says, oh, ten dollars yeah, you say. Yeah. Easy enough. All right. One clay and one wood. Although, honestly, it's just banking victory points. Well, and if people if use it, they it. will pay for it. If you build it, they will pay. All right. So, I had done charcoal to be able to give me energy, which, ironically, all of a sudden, I could then turn into a ton of iron. Um, I don't know that that's really worth it to me, though. So what's what's what is it now? You turn three energy up to six times into yeah. an iron. So that makes your charcoal kiln much more attractive. It does. That is true. Um. So I do have all those cattle, but I really need resources that aren't food. Uh. 
Gee. Oh, nice. That's right. It is getting reprinted. Oh, it's out of print, so it makes sense that we're covering it now before the reprint happens. <laughs> right. We did flip the round card, correct? Uh, yes. Yes, we did. Because the yeah, because we had a high, we had a, a, a harvest. Oh, uh, man. There's really nothing super exciting out there for the offers. Cool. Two. So one more one to show. Oh, you built the colliery. Yes. I built the colliery and they worked together. Hmm. And it costs a buck to go there, but that's awfully good. So here we go. Let me know that it's only plus one, no matter how many hammers you have. All right, Mike, I'm going to pay you one franc. Ooh, thank you. And I'm going to come over to the marketplace. And I can get two different standard goods. Three, four, four. Four different standard goods. So one, two, three, where to go? Four different standard goods. And I get to look at the special buildings. I'll do that after my turn. So I am done. All right, so that gives us a little bit of a base to go off of now. And pardon me. And Mike, can you grab me? I will be taking the wood. Okay. All right. So let's look here. So. Hmm. Let's okay. switch that so you guys can see. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and keep them in this order. Cool. All right. All right. So you're leaving court, Mike? Yeah, I'm going to leave court. Might I suggest the grocery market? That is uh, a lovely place to be. It looks like there's also a crap pile of grain. Uh, why, why get a grain when you can get all of these things? Because it costs money. Oh, you want your I, dollar I just back. paid him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a frock. Yes, right, oh. right, right. Yeah, we got to speak to Tony French accent. Right? Oh, we. No, you. You have the brickworks. Yes, it you does. do. Come on over. The water's great. I'll take a fish or a buck. I'm but okay the either way. Is you need clay. Yes, I yeah. need several mm. things. I can't go there because I need wood. And for some reason, somebody keeps taking that wood. Right. Uh. This is going to be a non-productive turn. Um, there's what, three clay out here? Yep. How much does that ship cost to build five wood and three ships? <sighs> Who's got the bakehouse? He does. Put me in there. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Obviously, everything in the universe is telling you to come visit. I am you're going to give me a food, or I'm, or a you're just going to give me a dollar. So yeah. let's just let's no, just because he's he has to grab the grain before he gives you money. I'm going to take the grain. That really didn't help me at all. Not even a tiny bit. Good save. All right, yeah. so interests, you're welcome to cover you. Uh, so that's a, a wood and a fish. Okay, well, we have kind of one of each here, but it's a great time for the black market. What is the black market? It gives you oh, yeah. two of whatever, it's, it's just those two. It'd be yeah. two iron and two grain. If one more thing was empty, I would be tempted. 
I still have. No, I, I, I'm still in disbelief that I have no hammers. Mm -hmm. But if you had a hammer, if I, what would you do? <laughs> uh, okay. Every yes, stay on target. There, we're taking the clay. Now, that gave me three clay. I could come over to your building and get three clay, but I would have to pay you a food, so why would we ever want to do that? Exactly. And Matt? It's a great time for the black market. Yeah. It, it's it, actually I actually thought, oh, wow, he's going to have three things he's going to get two of. Oh, wait, but this refilled, so it's not empty. Yeah. Actually, it's a great time for the wharf. Come on over. You have energy? You do. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Really? Why would you go help... Help, help him. That's true. Cause right? Dude, you, you, you're good. Right. So <laughs> um, you owe two. two. He's going he's gonna to get three. Wow. Look at this. And Give him bonus food to boot. Five wood and an energy. Uh, three energy. Three energy. Correct. Uh, you're going to be like a favored uh, customer from uh, Banker Dave. Seriously, dude. You get head of line privileges. He'll open early for you and all of that. All right, so bring it home. We got a fish and a grain. There's a stack of cow. There's a stack of cow. <clears throat> What's a sow? A sow is a female pig. You're right. There you go. So it's not stack of sow. It's just stack of cow. Okay. Why do we, you know, this This is one of those known good classics, right? That almost yeah. every time it hits the table, we're like, why don't we play that why more? Don't we play that more? And yeah, this is, I mean, I know there's the app, but well, the I last just. last two weeks we've played it, so. Well, you right. guys have, but I I'm saying for me, it. right. Somebody has. Right. I'm just saying the bakehouse is open for business. And it just costs a fish. And a half per grain, and that puts me back behind this whole wood thing. You know what? Just because I'm sick of being out of energy, there. Yeah, have a Coke. Yeah. Okay, that's home. No harvest, pay All right, for. Pay for food. So, real quick, Dave, to catch you up, you got three food for him coming to your wharf. Yay. All right. So everybody owes four food. That's going to be two bread for me. Did you pay yours? Right there. Okay. Oh, right. Good call. All right. So there's nothing else special about that. It's another wooden ship, but no iron men. At the end of this round, we are going to have a harvest. It's now five food that you will owe. And if nothing changes, the it will build, and how does that tiebreaker? I have no idea. We will have to look that up. I don't. I want to say it's to both be in there. Oh, really? Uh, you know what? You. There was a shipping line you saw in, that. The, in the car, so it might not be in there. Um, mm -hmm. do me a favor, hand me the rule book real quick. Let's double check that. Uh, there was the shipping line was in was in the special cards that came out, so I can I should. All right. So out. here for the building cards for game setup. It'll be one shipping line or the other. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Because uh, it was in this box. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's normal back. That's normal back. Okay, hold on. Let's just double check. There are two types of building cards, right? Tom starting. Sorting the standard buildings. The table is darker ticks for the full game. Oh, flip those over and make sure that uh, those are for both the standard game they also. Are. They are. Yeah, they are. This came in this package, so that's probably why it was still in the bag, and I just took it out. So are we sure that there's only one of each? Uh, I've never played with two. I... I'm inclined to agree with you. Don't get me wrong. Um, give me, give me one sec. Buildings there. End of a round here. Uh, feeding phase there. Here we go. Town constructs there. Yeah, I'm inclined to think so for the simple fact that it says uh, just 
take the larger the the smallest number. Um, so how many starting buildings are there? Uh, there are 33, including those, so there should be a total of 30 buildings. And there was one extra. Okay, so now, hold on. Um, yeah, it's fine. Take that one, sure. Go with it. Okay, so our bad on the setup there real quick. Okay, so real quick here, Scott says, one of the best games out there. I desperately need to play this more. I agree. We all do, right? Never understood the Rattle Trap Car special building. We haven't seen that, so I'll take your word for it. Um, there's probably far more special buildings that we haven't seen than we have. Well, if, if I mean. All right. So that's the end of the round. So now, getting back to this. At the end of the round, it's five food, a harvest, and the, the game will build the shipping line. Which, that would be in interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we all paid. Everything's good. Blue, you're up. Mm -hmm. Don't mind us while we have a snack. You guys carry the conversation while I feed my face, please. I'm, I'm just so desperate for wood, even though I want to do something. Else. Wow. At this stage of the game, we're mostly choked on bricks. And at the end of the game, everybody's going to be angling to see how they can build steel. Mm -hmm. Right. But there's helpful cards. And okay, bricks are right here. Mm -mm. You know what? I don't have enough wood to do that. That's frustrating. Oh, it's only two. Oh, I'm still one short. Son of biscuit. I can even go here to make bricks because you I don't have, have the no energy. energy. Oh, you do. You have your coal. I don't want to spend that. Okay, so let's rephrase that. I don't have any energy. I choose to spend. Because yeah. you absolutely can. Right. You have the ability. Yeah. All right. So actually, I'm going to do that. Uh, where am I? The marketplace over here, please? Yes. I will come over to my brick work and show you people how to use it. So we have four clay. We will turn that into four bricks. That costs two energy to be able to do it. And it will give me two cash. So two energy becomes one charcoal. I'll waste one of the energy. It's worth it. And now we have four bricks. So would that make me a brick house? But it would. Oh, I like this setup a whole lot more than Lisboa. So I'm I'm glad. Yeah, we're 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 evolving. So here we are, the fifth stream of the week uh, in the uh, in the age of this. Uh, uh, since we started doing this on Monday, so here it is Saturday, and we're averaging one a day. Yeah. Well, it took us about three streams to get it right. Yeah, so, you know, third time's a charm. So here we are. But yeah, it's uh, one other thing, Scott, that we can do, and actually this is a good time to be able to show you guys this, is my tableau here. So we have a ton of cattle, which I'll be able to turn in at the abattoir to be able to turn that into three food which is helping a bunch of charcoal, just turned in uh, a bunch of clay for bricks, so we're good. We got enough for our interest, and we have plenty of food that we're covered between the bread, the smoked fish, and the meat, so we're good for a while. So we can focus on just building uh, uh, buildings and, and scoring points and doing so on and so forth for that. So here we go. Uh, where are we? We are, we are day. Here. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Sweater Mike. And I'm just going to take seven points. There. All right. And the reason he says seven points on that is alone at the end of the game is minus seven points. If you have three loans at the end of the game, it's, wait for it, 21. So going to the local court definitely is a huge advantage of getting rid of those loans. 
interest, which, oh, look, I have no loan. which right now I'm the only one. I have two loans. No big deal. I will pay my $1. Wooden a wooden fish. fish comes out. Just a reminder, we have the grocery market open. Mm -hmm. You are going to owe five food. This takes care of seven. Just saying. Plus, allows you to harvest. There is a harvest. I'm trying. I'm trying to sell it. It's okay. trying to be like a barker. It's not working. It's sounding good. I, so I tried. I, I, have, I have finished up my coal problem by going to the colony. Weird how that works. All right, fish in a clay. So I was all excited about the bricks, right? The problem is I'm one wood short. Uh, and charcoal cannot be used as wood as opposed to clay or bricks being used as clay. That is really frustrating because I really wanted to build that shipping line. And the building, the the town is going to build that automatically so that's going to come down to a matter of money oh that's frustrating there's only three wood out there there's one iron there I got two meters out of the first things I did with my building even before the store had. Hmm. Sorry guys, this one this one's I, I'm legitimately tanking a little bit. Oh wait a minute. There it is. Bingo. Sawmill. Okay. I owe nothing. I get to build a building that requires wood for building one less. Yep. I have three bricks and one wood. Come to Papa. I have a shipping line. Thank you, sir. And the reason I care about the shipping line is all these people with ships are going to want to be able to uh, load up their all, ship. And all we, these people with ships. Well, <laughs> no, no. Matt has them as well. So real quick, it does say on the That's ships right. themselves, it says that on a wooden ship, for instance, sell two goods using the shipping line. So you can then uh, ship, say, two steel for 16 bucks. So that's going to be useful, and people are going to want to use that, which also it's going to get me to food every time they use it. And that's going to help me offset my food costs as well. All right, so red, we already filled the offers too, fellas, while yeah. I was doing that. Right. Okay. There is a harvest. Not yet. Um, step one. Yeah, let him oh, okay. finish it. I'm going to go ahead and buy the blast furnace. All right. For 10. We'll Actually, here, scooters down a little. Yeah. Just so there's a bigger gap. No okay. worries. Okay. And then um, I'm going to take my dude and he's going to the abattoir. All right. Okay. So the abattoir turns cattle into meat and hides. How many? Five. So did that's. Did we put out these? Yeah. So okay. Two hides. Two hides. And you turn those into meat. So you're good on food for at least a little bit. All Ooh. right. Harvest. Which Matt was smart in that he left two cattle. So cattle in a grain for me. Pay five. Pay five food. I'm feeling generous. I'll pay six. Ooh. I'm actually, that smoked fish with a side of meat makes for a tasty five. And now, what's the lowest one? So it was, it would have been the shipping line, but now it became the tannery. Uh, because Ironworks is 22, Business Office is 21. And what does the tannery do? It turns hides into leather, right? It turns hides into leather up four to four times. times. And you get, for every hide, you get one leather and one front. And requires no energy or anything like that. No you just go. Energy. Nice. And there's no cost to go there. Score. All right. So it's uh, Hold on. Did we flip? We did not. No. So, iron ship out. As you were saying, Mike? So the church here, it's worth 26, but there's a bit of humor embedded in it. It turns five bread and two fish into ten bread and five fish. Loaves and fishes, right? It's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> miracle. <laughs> All right. A wooden and clay. 
Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh, and if I didn't say it, thanks for watching, y'all. We've enjoyed, we're having fun with this, and hopefully it's enjoyable for y'all to watch as well and listen to. And if you guys have any questions, comments, critique, positive feedback, whatever, feel free over in the chat, or if not during the chat, after, if you're watching this afterwards, um, in the comments. And don't forget to thumb up if you are enjoying it and subscribe. We definitely appreciate it. Shipping line takes two food to operate. It's worth it, though. It's so worth it. it. If you have it. If you have it. Oh. You, why is it the one guy that always is wanting to come to my buildings never has the food or the money to pay it? You know, <laughs> I am going to take this stack of fish. All right. Blue, wood, and a cash. Five francs in the stack now. Yeah. Yeah, this is a fantastic game, Mira. There's there's I, a reason this is a classic. I, I need my wood. So it's interesting. So earlier today, uh, apparently it's Uve Day here at uh, Casa de, de Heavy Cardboard because earlier we played uh, Feast for Odin and did the live stream for that earlier. And everybody was like, eh, it's fine. This, you hear us. You can hear our excitement and our, and our enjoyment in this. It's You can see an evolution in Uve's designs, but I would argue that it's for our taste, and I'm speaking of present company here, uh, and in a lot of a lot of our group in general. I feel like it's an evolution in the wrong direction. Retrograde. Yes. His, his past couple of games has even been a riff on Agricola uh, with the worker placement stuff. I haven't seen a riff on this yet. Right, but I do you need to? I mean, seriously. I'm, I mean. I, I would, I would yeah. be okay with him trying. I think Agricola <laughs> skills. Yeah. Also right. point. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. This this, this is, in this Agricola, yeah, yeah, I agree. By the way, I have about one Coke every uh, every two months lately. Ever since I've lost all my weight, I'm down so to 207 now. I hope they give you a couple so, bucks for that product placement. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Do you need anything to drink? Uh, I, just, I just refill my drink. You need anything while he's running? I'm good. Okay. Uh, and what are you going to do? Take the money and run. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. You guys filled the offer. Sorry, yes. I was I was busy uh, yeah. running my mouth there. Uh, it's too much money to yeah. pass up. It's <laughs> it's that many money. <laughs> uh, who is that? I can't remember. Take the money and run. Uh, Go on, take the money and run. Eh. Junk. Eh. No, it's not Mike and the Mechanics. No. Oh my God, who is it? It's older than them. Go on, take the money. Oh, it, uh, I, I just had it. I know it's take the money. Uh, it's not Skinner. It's oh my God! Come on. Um, go on, take the money. Uh, uh, not Steve Earl. It's uh, John Mellencamp. No. Um, God, that's driving me nuts. Matt, you're up. While I'm, I'm while I'm, while I'm. Killing myself here. Steve Miller Band. That's it. Yeah. Well, I can right, yeah. The Joker. The, right, yeah, yeah. I should have just gone to hearing. Oh, well. Don't take, take the clay. All right. Too much clay to pass up. All right. New interest. No worries. And let's see. The whole point of that last wasted turn was so that I could you took all that fish right do this all right nice save that's why that's why that I is why we only we always have lids <laughs> all right I so I get I a couple of fish no we well <laughs> say well you are yeah so Matt having uh, spilt uh, coffee all over food chain magnate back uh, in the day so uh, here's here's how the shipping well, line oh wait these got paid way. sorry yeah. For every ship, uh, when you visit the shipping line, you can send all of your ships out on a on a trading mission. It costs three energy to send a ship out, right. and a wooden ship can haul two goods apiece. So I am shipping four cattle, which is twelve dollars or okay, too much for twelve francs. Yeah. 
right. Lesson learned there. If you want, won't you? It doesn't matter. I just don't. Um, so real quick, so Lahab, a lot of people will not play this with four or five players uh, because it can bog down a little bit, but we're trying to keep each other moving. Um, they, a lot of people say it plays best with three. Um, also is a good two-player game. I know there is Lahab Inland Port. I've never played that. Have any of y'all? No. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't know why you would need to because Lahab is good enough in and of itself. Um, but again, I can't. Speak to that intelligently, having never played it. And Mike, here. Because I don't want it to sweat on the paint. Yeah. I need, I need okay. a two. Oh, okay. oh, you built a ship? All right. A fish and a grain. Oops. Okay, so I built the brick right. That was the big thing was to get the shipping line going, which I did. Do uh, that's not brick. That's clay. Um, so I have one, two. Three options, I feel like. Or that. Actually, I think that might be one. I don't have enough there. Is that short sighted? I don't think it is. Cost the fish. Yeah. If I may have my worker, please. Yeah, I'm going to come over to the hardware store. I will pay Matt one fish, regular fish, not smoke fish, and get a wood, a brick, and an iron. Wood, a brick, and an iron. All right, end of turn. Harvest. All right, nice. Matt, you have a cow. All right. Having a cow over here. But um, bum Pay five. How about I just pay three? Hey, that's probably smart this time. Yeah. All right, so I'll pay a bread and meat. Now I'm getting to the point to where now I need to look at actually going back to the abattoir because of the fact that I have all these goods and I'm running out of Somebody food. Should just bought off of it, right? And uh, it is the special building. Uh, so special building um, is the feed lot, I think. It is the feed lot. All right. As long as you have two yeah. to six cattle. Yeah, as long as you have two to six cattle. And let me switch this so you all can see this. So here is the latest special building. The feed lot costs $6 to build. As long as you have two to six cattle here, the owner of the feed lot gets one additional cattle during harvest phase. Oh, my. So that's really nice. So they have twins. And that will go up to the city. The city builds that. Uh, let's see. Mira says we'll be good for the group. Uh, we got a big AP player. What just, is the lock? Mean? Just prod them. Uh, you can't build it. You have to buy it. Right. All right. So we are at the end of the round. We flip the iron ship. We are on to round 12. Going in a wood and a clay. Red, you're up. Yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go that close. Energy, um, not going anywhere yet. All right. Um, I'd like to, but yeah, I'll be honest. The funny thing is, is the wood. we we have, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way, but we have two of the worst AP players in our group sitting in this game. Actually, oh, let me switch that. I thought I did. Sorry about that. So we have the two biggest culprits right here, Banker Dave and Sweater Mike, mm -hmm. but they both are working on. Improving on that because they're aware of it. And it's not us being mean about it or anything. Just we're like, hey, let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. And, and everybody, I mean, everybody's going to tank at times. I mean, I do. So it happens. Just 
if it's prone, then that becomes a, you know, they should respect the group and speed up a little bit. These guys are great about doing that. So that's awesome. Last furnace. All right, so you owe two money or three food. Wow. Three food. No, no, that, that goes to, oh, to Matt. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> he would oh, like to be paid. Yeah, I would. Matt, he just I'd paid you have, enough. I'd rather have the money. Well, who wouldn't? Three charcoal <clears throat> will make three iron. Nice. Yep. Wood. And the cattle. Sorry, I'm slacking. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just turning. Ah, one short. I ran out of <clears throat> Oh, look at this. Stop me if you've heard this before. Finally, it has paid off. Iron! I'll take all three. Whoop. Interest. Yes, sir. Why did you pay it off? Huh? Could have paid it off? One of them. He has two. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't. <laughs> yeah. He's in time for you to go to town. I, I, I thought about it. Food. <clears throat> over there. Since Mike gave you food, you'll give uh, Dave yeah. food. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then That's some stinky mess. fish at this point. And so yeah, that, was that three, oh, three plus one for three, each four, hammer. Four. Uh, yeah, the maximum you can have is four. And then I will have four. Why do you think it was loose? Hey, Brian, it was gone. Hello. Uh, now we're going to AP some more because we got all that. And what are we going to do? We're going to bake some bread. If you guys are looking for something two player in the meantime, top shelf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you okay. All right. So Brian can hang out and Just observe. So happens. Six loaves of bread. Four charcoal. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, I got money. Yeah, buddy. And mm. three francs. Yeah, All right. There. All right. Blue is up. Bring it home for one green. Oh, there we go. And the fish. I was trying to remember where the turn marker was. It's that pile right there. Yeah. We're in turn 12 of 20. So, honestly, by the time Amanda gets back, we're going to be pretty yeah, close, definitely. I think. What's this for? Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Feed, Feed me, me, Seymour. Feed, Feed me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not the quantity of the buildings. It's the quality oh, of the buildings. So I do four food. Uh, four bricks. Okay, so that you owe two energy, and you get two bucks cash from the bank. You know, plus that one's worth 14 points, I would agree. Right, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, you get the shipping lane too, nice. All right, so there's no harvest. Everybody owes six food, or minus whatever you have. One so there's two... Thank you, Matt. Was Three, so four, five, and six bucks. You're welcome for building what I needed you to build, or having what I needed. That's All right, so now I am in hurry. Sometimes the thing you need is way over there. You right, forget you forget about it. Good call. Flip it. Steel. We have a first steel ship. Ten pointer. Which requires, wait for it, steel. That works. Gosh, that works. Well, but that is not steel. The business office you can turn those into, but that's still working right underneath. Okay. So at the end of this round, we're gonna have a harvest. You're gonna owe seven food, and the game will build the business office so that the storehouse is available. The steel mill is underneath the ironworks. Gotcha. All right. So we go one wood, one clay. Which there. I think I have to do that. Yep. I'm going to take the wood. So we throw a wood and a buck out there. So Matt. Oh, I missed one. You know what Thank time you. it is? Business time? It's business time. <laughs> you have on your business socks? All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank, th thank you, Peanut Gallery. Sawmill. So it's four, but I'm going to use three because I'm less. And Clay, we'll build the business office. Right 
exactly what sort of business are you referring, Captain? <clears throat> I'll leave that up to your imagination. All right. And a cow. No I did not vacate the hardware store. Hmm. More clay. I'm going to take the four clay. We'll put it in the bucket on there. And an iron. Right. Oh! Dave put a brick out there and he's building an iron ship, which requires four iron and three energy. And boom, and that offsets three food. So I need a five. Five in the stack? Uh, oh, you got it. Okay. Well done. <sighs> All right, interest. Wooden fish. All right. So I, too, can build an iron ship if I want it, which is going to offset. It's going to cost me two food, which then I'm hurting because I'm taking another loan. How would if you I, build an iron ship? I have the brick to pay oh, on the okay. wharf. Then, then that's so I can do that. I also could build the ironworks mm -hmm. if I want which I do want to, because then that gives the steel availability as well. But I also want to be able to offset my food cost, or turn some of this cattle into meat. Uh. So if I build the wharf, I'm going to take another loan. Or I could avoid taking a loan, well, but I would pay two of them back in. You know what? Let's head over to the wharf. Let's not overthink it. So, Mike, you get two bucks. We'll throw a brick down. Oh, thank you, thank you. And we're going to build the iron ship, which the iron ship requires... One or three energy and four iron in there. I need three food markers, please. Uh, Flip it over. Flip yes. over the two. Let's use on the back. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I owe three less food, which means I owe four, which means I'm going to take a loan and get a dollar out of that. There in a clay, but it allows me to ship goods now. Well, I'm going to go over here to my business office and return four clay into a steel. Yep. And it says additionally, you can do one more or something. Yep. Charcoal, leather, or brick. And turn it into that. I'm going to turn a coal into a leather. For shipping. Mm -hmm. All right. A fish and a grain. Have a loaf of bread, sir. And I'll take three coal. And then. Thank you so much. There's a harvest. Oh, there is a harvest. That is a stack of cattle and grain over here. All right, so now everyone owes seven food. I owe four. I, I will take a loan. I will as well. Give me a loan. So, I was um, also going to take a loan, except that Mike gave so me a I owe four bucks for that, so that loan uh, paid for the loan. food. <laughs> and now it builds the lowest building, which the lowest building is the ironworks, believe it or not. Yep. Wow. Which is what I was going to build, but... Okay, you'll have to buy it now. How much is it? Twelve... Twelve bucks. bucks. Yep. Yeah, that's... 
that's that's a few. And Am a Amanda story. chimed in, said Steve Miller Band, in case you're still struggling. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. I paid at Harvest. We're yeah, that's done. So into round fourteen, Iron Ship. There's gonna be a harvest, eight food in the special building, which only I know. Dave's taking a Watto cash. Throw another buck out there. That's a lot of wood. Okay. So we have that. But we don't have any really high end goods, but the food is kicking my butt. I only have one buck. I can't go to the abattoir. Three, six. How much grain do we have? We have, we could turn six in, which would be $3. Yeah. Bring me over to the uh, bakehouse, please. So I will turn six grain into bread. Give me $3. And that would be one charcoal as well. Done. There in a cattle. So I've got uh, wood. I, I don't. <laughs> Maybe I, I should, but. Yeah, I'll take the wood. All right. Good. Get All right. A buck and an iron. And the white team moves to the now upgraded wharf. You're welcome. Thank I feel you. like I should get a tip every time you do that for yeah. upgrading your stuff. I'm not that altruistic. And you get the big iron ship. Iron ship. The ten pointer. Okay, that's four more, so seven now. Done. Interest. Buck. And a, what is that? Check fish that. And, if a fish in a wood. I'm taking this building for. Wood. Greefill that down there somewhere. Uh, holy smoke like all that fish. No, no, you have to smoke it first. It's over there. <laughs> no. Oh, I hate you so much right now, Dave. Son of a Ugh! So there's two. I hate I hate you a little oh, bit, but I also expect to be paid six, for to, for, seven, to relieve that nine ten. It's two bucks, right? Yeah. Man, that hurts so bad. Because I got the money. I got the money to go to the abattoir. Mmm. That's smarts. Okay. Well, there goes that idea. All right. So, 10. So, that's five hides. Uh, five hides, right? So, a clay and a fish. That is a ton of fish, dude. I don't have to worry about freaking food anymore. That's a ton of fish. That's a whole lot of cattle too. Is there anything better than that? Man. That might not be a terrible idea either. No. We need that, so that and that. You know what? Yeah, we have enough food. I don't need to worry about it. Where it, I am coming over here to the ironworks. Uh, Three food or a franc. Yep, so we will do one franc and get three iron. Red team taking it home. Sir. Can they hand me a phantom leader? F yeah, sure. Let me just Something grab like this ginormous yeah. pile of fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw that happen. All right, we have a harvest. And pay uh, there there we go. Go. I will take a cow down. Well, hold on. Harvest yeah. first, guys. We're running out of cows. That's because the meat's. Oh. There and the grain. And now we owe eight food, so I owe five. So four. And that's actually okay. I will do that. One. And there. And special building. 
is the business park. Didn't, didn't quite get Thanks. All right, so the business park costs ten dollars to buy, has a hammer on it. it. Says at the end of the game, the value increases by two dollars per industry uh, building that you have. Oh, I have that. So the business or industry is this symbol right here, as opposed to the residential or the the business uh, that is the industrial. So that will go out there, and we're in round fifteen now. The steel ship is there. And nude wooden clay. We don't, the cokery is not available yet, right? No, it's below the storehouse right there. Okay. I hate you all. Will you stop taking. The buildings I need to go to. <laughs> now that I purchased a hammer, you get four coal. Done. Oh, that's why you did that. Was all to be able to get one extra coal, wasn't it? Makes sense. That's really smart. Makes sense. Mm. Coin. In a wood. Seriously, Dave, get the hell out of the abattoir. That's not enough. Really? I wish I could, like, make this an economic game and, like, force Matt to sell his building. Like, buy it out from under him. Like, pay 50% more or something like that. Um, man, you people, unpleasant to play with, let me tell you. Not really, but... All right, so colliery I was going to go to. All right, so you guys may end up forcing my hand, and it's not really what I want to do. Four and two, I can't do that. So instead, now I can just play. Mm. That's just not worth it. I'm going to take the clay offer, I think, because I have no hammers, and that's four. Yeah, I'll take the clay. All right, red. I'm going to come over here and get a wood, a steel, and a brick. A wood, a iron, and a brick. Mike? Interest. They have paid like eight dollars in interest now, eight or nine. Oof. Okay, that opens that up at least. So four, four clay. clay. Dave, a clay and a fish. The ironworks is not available. Oh, darn. You want me to move? There's I'll make you a deal. You, 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 oh, move, you move first. I'm an idiot. You move first, and I will, I will vacate the ironworks if you get out of the abattoir. You son of a... <clears throat> you couldn't... <clears throat> You guys are killing me. Killing me. So you don't unass the abattoir and you take the iron, which I was going to do one or the other. If you move the abattoir, I'm still taking the iron. So I'm going to owe six. We're okay there. Okay. So we're going to come over to the brickworks. I'm going to turn 
four bricks. No, oh, I'm sorry, four clay into bricks. So I owe two energy, which that'll be one charcoal and two bucks. I got two birds with one stone. All right. So we are at the end of the round. There's nothing else going on other than no we uh, we owe nine food, so I owe six food Four, right there. Five, six, seven. Wow. Ouch. Nine. All right, Matt, you're uh, – hold on. Iron ship. Big one. All right, we are into round 16 now of 20. So you can see, I mean, I, I – I don't know how long ago we started. Maybe one of y'all can tell us, because um, I, I don't see like the play time on this. So, but I feel like it's moving along pretty good clip here. Well, for four people, it's moving along real well. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, sure, we're all thinking, but nobody's really, really APing about this. Do we fill the the offers for that? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. I'm gonna move off of here. We're going to the building firm. And I will build the steel mill. I was one turn. So let's see. Abattoir, colliery, iron, and now steel mill. I'm behind oh. one turn on everybody. Never mind, I won't. Why? Because I, I can't read from across the table. I only had one, not four. Oh. No. Okay. I, I thought it was safe. That's why I yeah. did the bricks, actually. Um, Never mind. And in fact, let me, let me show everybody, and I can say this because nobody else has the bricks. That I have and two, three, enough. four brick, five bricks, there. which the steel mill will require four bricks go there. and two well, iron, I which I have instead. tons of each. So, And I know I'm going to get paid for that because people are going to want to build steel ships and luxury liners. All right. <clears throat> well, if I can't make it that way and, or build it, I'll just do this again. We'll just turn four wood into steel. And are you doing the additional act one? Yes. I'll just turn um, one more wood into a, yes, into a brick. Okay. And does it have to be an upgraded good? It could be a basic good, like a cattle. Okay. All right. Anytime it gets up there, I want the money. That's why they call him Banker Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I hear you. I had a plan, now I can't remember. <laughs> Moving off the abattoir. Uh, probably not. I know what I'm doing. You can smell the smoke really starting to, to kick up here now. Yeah. Iron work, so you get three iron off the bat. And pay six for an additional six energy, so four iron. Yep. That's right. where you threw the money in there. I yep. Saw. Dave, one cattle and wood, you're up. Here. Get a wood, a brick, and an iron. All right. So an iron and a frunk. Yeah, it's worth too many points to not. So I. Let's see. That building firm is free over yonder. Yes. Uh, four bricks. Four, really? <laughs> not that one? No. <laughs> and two iron. You betcha. Uh, let me look here real quick. Is there anything else that requires one brick out there? Nope. 
So I will build the steel mill, which is turns iron into steel at five energy per iron that you do, and also costs two dollars to come visit. And uh, a little known rule is it also costs two dollars per round that you camp on my buildings. Yeah. Not really, but yeah. it sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep it coming. It sounds good. It sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's it for me. And red interests. Oh, Oop. Yes. Sorry. I do have to paint yep. this time. A fish and a wood. And one interests. All right. I need food, and unfortunately, it's oh, you got. yeah. Pay me. Have my last dollar. Thank you. I almost feel bad about it, but not really. So you get two of each, two of those, two of these, and then flip one of them. Yep. All right. Uh, so a fish and a clay. So it's pretty interesting. Your black market has been, every game plays out differently with the black market and the, the usefulness of that because no more than two of these have ever been empty. Right. Uh I've been waiting for it, but it just hasn't materialized. <clears throat> That's exactly what I need not to have to go along. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. I'll take a food. Yeah, buddy. I like you people. Two, four, six. Six clay is three energy and three bucks. And collect three bucks. Do not pass go. Slick. And shipping that one time gave you plenty of cash. Yeah. If Good life, point. Yep. I overlooked one really big thing all of a sudden. I don't have enough food. All right. So, Dave, you're up. So I've got one tree next turn. Got to. Can I have my counter, please? Mm hmm. One, two, need... three, four. And energy. Yeah, cool. And that's iron ship. Yep. And I get, I need the eight. All right. Then we harvest. We harvest. And the cost is 10 this time, right? Yep. So there's your harvest, Matt. 10 minus 3 is 7. Minus Nine. this is 5. That's exactly what I just got. This in a loan. That's four loans now for me. And the lowest value building, which is the 24, the storehouse, gets bought by the city. That's a hammer for four bucks. Okay. So the cokery is finally out there, which turns coal into coke, which is considerably more energy. Ships well, too. Not as well. We flip that. We have a steel ship. And purple. One clay and one wood. So, all right, so I have two options, and I'm paranoid. I think, yeah, that actually works out to my benefit. Where's my, my workers over there on the building firm? Over to the abattoir, please. Two bucks. And we are turning, that is four, oh, it's yours. eight, oh. That nine. That is very good. That is nine meat. That's a lot of meat. So that's four hides, please. Which I hear leather ships pretty well. Yeah. All but right. The leather thing is out. Uh, I thought I thought Matt built it, didn't he? No. No, it's over here. Okay. Ah, there it is. The city, tannery. The city yep. All right. So red, you're up. You refilled there. Mike, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go to the wharf and pay 
you um, not warp food, speed, but money. And I'm going to build the uh, steel ship. All right, it costs three energy and two steel. Okay. So he's building that, which offsets five food and can sell four goods. So you're up to seven food now offset. All right, uh, nude is one wood and one cattle. Wow, look at the stacks <laughs> out here. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Yeah. Um, I'm a little sheepish for doing this, but I'm actually going to take... A sneeze. A sneeze. Bless you. No, I'm not. Because... Because reasons. Because reasons. So I'm good for Just food for a while. Really, really, really. For at least two turns. Every time. Son of a biscuit. Yeah. I'm taking the wood. I can't yeah. believe it, but I'm taking the wood. At this point I, in the game. Yeah, I, I mean, it's always handy. Dave, an iron, and a frunk. I can't pass up. Hey, God, son of a... Oh! Interest. What is my name? I can't pay interest. I can't either. Crap. I was taking the eight bucks. Hmm. Five like, loans at this like point. This is local court. Yeah, I'm going to have to soon. It's 14 too. points a visit. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I think that's off camera. It is. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody went, why are you all laughing? Uh, all right. It's well earned. It's well earned. I have plenty of food. Is that the most efficient option? There. I think it is. Let me double check. Looking around. That is my best option for right now. One wood, one brick, one iron. It feels a little... I would like a food for that. Uh, hmm. You may be eating well. <laughs> mm. Tasty three, steak. Three food, huh? Yum. That works. A lot of oh, this is frustrating, is dude. Oh, my lord. So, yeah, I, I, I will have to hit up this. Local so, court. So I've got two wounds, so what do I do? It oh, read. Yeah, it's upside down. So it's, right, uh, if you have two wounds, return one, take two francs. Mm -hmm. And then you can pay the second one off with the two francs if yeah. you want. And I will. So, there you go. So I'll give up both the loans. Well, how much does it take to pay off the second one? Five. Five. Oh, well, That's why yes. you need okay. two bucks. There you go. All right. That's a lot of fishes. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'd, that'd be dirty. Probably just stay there for a while. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a way to buy the building. I'd sell something here and buy that building. So. Yeah, you could buy that. Okay. Building one or two buildings? It's for sure going to be the cokery. Which is the reason I got the brick, and I didn't see that you had enough bricks, so. And? So, so this was a completely wasted action for me, man. I'm not doing well. In the church. At the end of the game, I increased by four per ship. That's 12 points, but this is 16 points more, so. All right, five, three, and one. Well done. Yep. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you got quite a lead there. I don't think I can get caught up. All 
That's the end of the round. So, harvest. Ooh, harvest. Uh, ten food is owed. I owe seven, which means Sweet. nine. That's gross. Three. And the special building gets built. Which this one is smelting furnace. Didn't quite get it again. Ah. So the smelting furnace is you can turn a clay into iron, but it costs two energy in which to do it, and it costs four dollars to build. Or to buy, sorry, not to build. All right, um, we did not flip, yeah. So yeah, right, we did not. So we have the last steel ship. Blue, you're up. Going over here to the iron works. So I get three iron. And I can pay six for another one. The last one built. Okay, I'm going to get that. All right, none. Mm -hmm. Wood in the front, and it costs two food. Man, this is in bad shape. Colliery have three food, uh, so I'm gonna get only still no hammers. Three coal done. Right, I'm going to my avatar here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four hides. You got them? Okay. Four hides? Yep. An iron and a buck. Okay. You're there. There's just three irons sitting here. Where is the one that turns for steel? Who has that? Ah, and it costs two coins per iron, and you need a hell of a lot of. Yep. Okay, we're going to the cokery. We're converting three coal and taking three frocks. Done. Hmm? My? Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is painful. Interest. Oi. So that's now six loans. So here, let's let's do that. Right. There you go. It's minus 42 points. No big deal. It's all good. We got time. We should go camp on the local court. All right. A clay and a fish. What if you own 17 loans? Okay. Uh, you so you're at the cokery. I'm at the colliery. We're going to have to start, get rid of two of them. So that becomes four loans. Done. A fish and a grain. Right, I'm going to the tannery. And Tanner. flipping four. And get four bucks. And four bucks. That's all right. Okay. That's the end. All right. You owe 11 food. I owe eight, which is three of those. And four four bucks. bucks. All right. And the first and most valuable luxury liner is out there. 
Uh, after the last round, each player can carry out one final main action, at which time the buildings may be occupied by more than one player. Players may not buy anything during the final action phase, as a reminder. So we are in the penultimate turn. One wood and one clay. Somebody grab the wood, Mike. Mike, you got to unask that building. Yeah, I really should. On the other hand, that's blocked. Oh, that's not blocked. Mm -hmm. But it's all about getting to steal, which is, mm, I have one iron. But you need to unmask that building. I, I do. <laughs> Oh, I hate to do it, guys. I'm taking the iron. I hate you a lot. Okay. A buck and a wood. Can I have my piece, please? Uh, you are the blue team. So I get four. Purple team. Give me four, so... You know what? If you're going to do me like that, uh, Mike, I'm going to do you like that. All right. That's only fair. Uh, we'll just go next door. We will pay one, and I will take six, or I'm sorry, three iron. Two and three. Man, all right. What is the steel making thing? Oh, it's right. No, that's shipping. No, that's steel. But I'm I'm doing this for Matt because he he got those high or the leather. Mm -hmm. Those should be flipped over. Oh, yeah, they're, they're all. I thought yeah. I didn't, was, do we I have the one, one that uh, turns coal into coke? Yeah, it's right. the one he's camping that I tell him yeah, he uh, needs to un let's do that. Sure. Two food. Oh, I look, I, I get bonus. All right, that's huge for me. So I need, so just, I need eight food. Just that food. just saved me. Okay. All right, so what does that no, it let didn't. me do? I'm still a dollar short. Do? This one does four. You, you can ship. Okay, so you need three energy spent. That's fine. Okay. And then you can ship four goods. All right. Okay. Leather. So leather is four piece at 16 bucks. All right. Done. All right. Interest. And now I'm a buck short to be able to pay for my food. No. I'm going to cure that. There we go. Thank you. Two dollars. Although. And we are going to convert four iron into four steel for 20 energy. Which is two, two coke. coke. Yep. All right. Let's see, what is that? A fish in a clay? So I have three actions left. And a fish? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish, Dave. I know, but I'm going to go here. Cost you guys are killing me. I, I'm I'm behind. Playing behind yeah, these so guys is really terrible. Table, right? It doesn't cost anything. No, and a buck a buck piece. So give me four bucks. Or give me five. And being a step behind them, and when they. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, so. What can we do? Um, 
that is a metric shit ton of fish. And grain. But fish is food. So I don't want to use up my money, so that gives me options. So take so I have three actions left. One will take care of the food for me for the rest of the game. And the last round requires 11 food again. He's got about three turns left. Somebody might have four. I hate to do it, but I have to to be able to protect myself. Okay. All that fish. So everybody harvests. Oh, I get a cow. I don't get a cow anymore. Mm. Cool. I forgot I had it. And I one meat. Oh, it's well, 11, right? Eight three, seven. So I have eight, four, and seven. That's six. Ouch. Eight. Yeah. Uh, Ouch is right. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Uh, all right. That's another luxury liner, and we are in the final turn. Although we take one extra action after that. All right. Back over here. Maybe three or three bucks. We're alone still. Okay. Morph. Need any good books lately? Two steel and three wood to burn is a steel ship. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know why you didn't go for books in there, but that's just he might He might be trying to ship goods. Yeah. Blue, one wood, and one cow. I can sh How much? Uh, two food. I'm okay either way. So that should be enough now. I need eight, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I'm, I'm shipping plenty. eight goods, I believe. Uh, how three, it's, six, seven, eight. It's three energy per ship. Right. So that's one, three ships. That's one coke. And how many goods? Eight. Yeah. So it's three energy. So that's that's that. Coke. So that's spent. Throw away the coke. Eight cows is $24. You're not going to ship your coke, huh? No, not this time. Okay. All right. One iron and a buck. So I have one. So I have two actions left. Oh, boy. I don't have enough. Mm, I'm one action short. Got to go there to do that. That's two loans left. Done. Red interest. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No. Oh, dude. No, I will just take this deck and move. Okay. Uh, they're in the clay. It's a pot of clay. Yeah, it's looking lovely. <laughs> too little, too late, though. It doesn't do any good. Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, people that are watching these streams have got to think that I have no idea how to play any of these games because I do so terrible in every one of these streams. But we're just going to have to do Dominant Species once. Yeah. So you can <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll put paid to that. I think right. so. And there's just too many games that we've played with you at where he won. So no, I know, no, I know. It's just it's funny because I do terrible when I'm actually leading the streams. I, I think it's but, because you're just concentrating on 
This oh, oh, I, I know that's that the scene. reason. It just it looks bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at all those goods over there and going, they're not worth anything. Nope, they're nothing. That's why I took the money. To yep, no, so, it's straight. Yeah. So are you shipping? Okay. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I'm just Hi. Okay. staging it. Um, what do I need? Energy. I need to not be on this wharf. The colliery is right there. Yep. Cost me two food. Can't do it. What's up, Asher? What's up, bud? Bake some bread. Bakehouse. One. Hey. Half uh, energy. Nope. Taking the wood. Done. Why? To ship, he needs energy. Oh, right. And That's right. All right, so the last turn of the game, but it's not quite the last turn. And two bucks, which you guys are going to make it real close on whether or not I can do this. Like, I'm so not going to. And so how much energy does it take? Uh, five per iron that you convert. So that's ten. You did four? I did four. No, so it's 20. 20 energy. Still five. Yep. Which, that's exactly what you want to do. And then the last turn you either build or ship, usually. All right. So now, I do have a question here real quick. So the luxury liners say that you can, uh, you multiple people can be in the same thing, right? However, my question here is, can you do this? You can do any building, any anything you want, including yeah. the one you are currently at. No, yeah. no, I don't. Th I, I think Mike's right. Yeah, you can't go back and forth. You. So that's one of the reasons why I vacated. Final the action. Uh, the order of play is not different. In rare cases. Uh, Okay. First of all, we need to pay for. Oh yeah, pay your food. Pay the food. So eight, four, five, Which is six, seven, mm -hmm. eight. There. Okay. So here, real quick. Should we get this out? Uh. All right. So here we go. Final action. Takes one more turn. Carries out the final action. A main action. Supply and building actions cannot. Be taken and interest is no longer paid. Players may still repay loans and sell buildings and ships. Starting player begins and each other player takes a turn. Note in the final stage only, person discs may be moved to buildings which are already occupied by one or more other person discs. Each player therefore has the chance to visit one building of his choice during the final action. The only building that may not be entered is the one the person the disc is currently on, which really sucks when you have loans. I think it was the first game I've ever ended up with a loan. All right, so we all paid. So uh, this I gets paid. built. I don't. Okay. I yep. Yeah. All right, that gets built. So now, um, Matt, start us off. You can go to any building out there, but you you do still pay. Mm -hmm. No. The food. Yes. Well, here have some food. Shit. I was hoping it'd be cash. Um, so paying that, doing the four for 16 again. Okay. Got it. Mike? You know what? I just blew up my game. Because you don't have the food. By one buck. You are a buck short. Yep. Wow. So here, this is, here, let me, uh. Just get bring his face as I need <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to do something different. So, and it's a, hold on, let me switch this over so people can see what you'd already prepped to give an idea. No, I can't even do that. So he has three ships over here and all of his goods ready to ship and to pay for the energy, but he can't do it because he's one buck short because the shipping line requires two food. He only has a dollar and he has no food. 
Mm -hmm. And I can't come to your wharf because it takes two food as well. Wow. <laughs> so he can't build the ship. No, that's just And he can't up. shipping. And he can't ship. Well, let's wow. see. Wow. What can I do? Not much. That gets that you matters. points. Yeah, what would get you points? Um, that you can't build a ship and you can't ship. You can sell wood up to three for seven points. That could be done. I could build a building. No, you were not allowed to. What Did it say you're not allowed to build? You got, you got six bucks here. Mm -hmm. um, so in the final action... Supply and buying may not be taken, but you can build. Yes. Okay. Sure. You can use any of the buildings. So conceivably, you go to the construction firm to build too if you have the resources. It's a and lot of I bricks. Don't because I'm shy on bricks. Wow, that's rough. Mm hmm. So moral of the story. Well, who's going first? Uh, uh, Matt's already gone. It, oh. we're, we're, but the problem is Mike oh. can't afford and this. You, and you are. Not? Did no, you? I have not. I'm last. Because it, yeah, it started back over with me because I was first. Yep. Okay. One abattoir is two. I think uh, six bucks is what mm. I've got. Or, yeah. No, seven. It'd be three wood at the joinery. Mm -hmm. And you have plenty of wood over there next to your ships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there it is. <coughs> All right. Three wood. For seven bucks. Seven bucks. So just to give folks at home an idea, how much were you going to be able to make on that total? So you got seven, but you would have had... Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-four, sixteen, forty, forty-five, forty-five. Forty-five, and instead he got seven. All be for want of one dollar or one food. Or a fish. Wow. So, so I've got a couple of different choices. I can ship and I get eight. Twenty-four. Uh, no. Thirty-two. Four is thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Mm -hmm. Or I could buy a luxury one. Which is only worth 30, so why wouldn't you ship? Yeah. But you'll pay me two food, sir. Why? He owns the shipping line. Oh. You have the food, yeah, though. I have no. plenty of food. I was really hoping you guys would have no food and have to pay me money. Okay, so... What did I say that was? Uh, hold so on. It's 32. 33. No, it's 32 for your steel. Oh, 32. And four each for that. So 44 and a cattle is 2, 46. 46 Cattle's bucks. Three. All right, so here, 46. Give me four bucks. And there's 50. Okay, and I have to use the code to ship it with. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm a buck short to do. So, so what gets me the most money? I These. Could've, I could have done that too. I just realized that that had to be on it. What? I could have used this to ship like two more things. Mm. Three bucks. No, I couldn't. That was that'd be an energy short. He's waiting patiently for us to finish. Uh, I'm not going to take too long to do it. So it costs to ship for three goods. That's going to be worth max of nine. Yeah. All right. So three energy. One, two, three. And I'm going to ship three goods, which is going to be three coal on my ship, which gives me nine bucks. Pay one more. Terrible, but didn't finish with loan. All right, so now we go into in-game scoring. All right, so 
It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Money yep. plus buildings plus bonuses. Yep. All right. So here we go. Um, so we'll go worse the first. So buildings. 22, 32, 42, 56, 56 and 16 is 72, 72 and 6 is 78, 79, 80, 81, 81, that's it for me. Are you lugging this, Matt? Yeah. No. <laughs> so, uh, let me get a piece of scratch paper. All right, 81. All right, Matt. Nick, no. 22, 28, uh, 36, 36 plus 8, 44, 44, 64, 70, and then this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 44. So, so 114 for Matt. Mike? All right, 26 and 18 is uh, generally 44. 44, 48, 50, 64, 66, 72, 82, 96, 100, 104, 138, 138, 146. Yep, 146 for Mike. Dave? Uh, 20. 40, 50, 64. 64, 114, and 30 more is 144. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike wins 146 to 144 to 114 to thanks for playing. So you still won even though you lost out on 40 points. Yeah. Well, it's because of the buildings. You know, yeah. I, I just couldn't get my buildings going. All right, so, so, uh, yeah, so what do you think? I mean, I, well, all of us have played this a bunch, right? Yeah. This is only my third time. But oh, really? Yeah. So what do you think? Oh, I, I really enjoy this game. Yeah. Well, I guess it's I've played it more if you count the app. Okay. i played the app quite a bit. But I didn't play it on the like, difficult level where it would be like playing with Mike. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've played this game probably seven, eight times. Okay. Over the last three years since I've been introduced to it. And I just love it. I, I just find um, the difference of do I buy a building and all the choices and look at how many goods are left over. And I got the cows specifically just to ship them because there were three. It was the easiest way of getting a ton of points shipped, tw uh, shipped twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's fantastic. I love the the sheer quantity of options. Uh, that are in this game and it, it the game teases you oh wow look at this huge stack of X Y or Z yeah but stay on target stay with what we wanted to do you had a plan do you stick with the plan or do you go in a different direction um, I mean we've already reviewed this game we rated it as a Hall of Fame game that's not changing uh, you can go back and listen to our review on heavy cardboard mm -hmm. uh, so how about you Mike well I'll go squee um, this thing checks every box except one on my list of gotta have it in the game. So it's got um, it, it. It's got every game is different because these contracts get laid out in a different order. Uh, the choices down here are all visible and deliciously painful. Mm -hmm. You have to play everyone's game at the table. Yep. Uh, and you have to defend. And it was funny. The one time that I really got uh, behind you building that kokery, had I looked and saw that you guys had enough, I would have never taken the one action that I did for the hardware store. Oh, yeah, I'm going to build the co Wait, no, you idiot. You didn't look and see what everyone else had to do or right. could have done. And so that goes back to that whole... Uh, playing of everyone else's game as well. Yep. The, yeah. the other thing about this game is, uh, especially on the early part, spending that money for food lost me the game because I kept hitting my money for food because I didn't have the meat until yep. the very end. 
-hmm. And me not paying attention to, oh, making sure I can pay my interest, it bit you in the tail, mm -hmm. Matt, for not being able to. Because how many loans? I think I had to take three loans throughout this just because I couldn't pay my interest. Mm -hmm. And then all I was doing was, yeah, I finished a game with no loans. But, I mean, I ended up losing by 60 points because I was focused on other stuff to try and get rid of my loans because I was so inefficient everywhere else, mm -hmm. which I should be punished for that, and I was. So that's that's a sign of a good game, I think. Yeah. There's a couple of times you could you should have just taken the money that was sitting there. And totally forgot and okay. overlooked it. Yeah, and that comes with practice. The other, oh, the yeah. other thing I love about the game is these buildings can be disruptive, the special ones, because mm -hmm. you never know what's coming. Yep, that's true. That's the only uh, it's the only hidden thing in the game are the special buildings. Mm -hmm. Everything else is known. You see what's coming out. You see the order of it. You can always look yep. at the reference card that tells you exactly what cards are coming up as far as what round. So it's all out there. And then there's that one little bit of, hmm, what's it going to be? But even then, you have the marketplace card that allows you to look into the future if you want. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Definitely a, a Hall of Fame game for me. What about for y'all? Oh yeah, it's yeah. one. Of, it, it's still on my wish list to get, and has been for a while. But it's been out of print, and um, now it's coming back. It's getting reprinted yeah. this year. For for me, this is up there in the top three, along with Through the Ages and Civilization and Puerto Rico and yeah. so five games in your top three. Totally normal. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate y'all uh, contributing, you know, through the chat and everything. Uh, so, yeah, somewhere around here, there's going to be a subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the playthrough and the teaching, then consider subscribing. We have our Patreon, which is heavy uh, patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard. We'd appreciate your support so that we can continue to make these and continue the in, improving the quality. So if you guys enjoyed it, uh, we enjoyed it and hope you all did too. So with that said, we'll catch y'all. Uh, we may be doing one more of these tonight. We may not. We'll see. If not, we'll, we'll catch y'all on Monday. All right. Take care for me from Heavy Cardboard, Matt, Mike, Dave. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye. See you later. Take care.